Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome to the Fallout 4 Next Generation update. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, you probably are wondering why am I doing a new restart. We already did two episodes. Basically, I just probably, I, I want to take a little more time. I want to set my character up a little bit better. Um, I kind of wanted to jump in and take a look at it. The new update for the YouTube series. And then I was, and then I was like, okay, well, since we're doing Twitch... Mavritz. I was like, okay, we can take our tie with it. So yeah, I want to restart. I kind of want to make a better looking character and probably a little bit better of a build. So we're going to jump right in because I don't want to spend the whole stream looking at the intro. So new. We'll get all the introduction stuff out of the way once we're in the game. Yes. And also, I love this intro. It is one of my favorite intros to any game ever, even though I just watched it the other day. So we're going to watch it again. Because it is a fantastic intro. Also, this loading screen takes forever. Um, okay, that didn't take nearly as long as I thought it would. Bethesda Game Studios uh, presents... Uh, Fallout 4. Uh, which is a game that really, I think, you come to appreciate more over time. Like, when this game first came out, I viewed it as sort of a step back. Okay, I'm going to shut up for the intro. War. War never changes. In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing, it's that war, war never changes. Oh, why does that hit me so hard? It really, it literally makes me like tear up a little bit. God, it's the music drop. It's like the fallout theme where it goes down, down, but it like, it has such a haunting background to it Ugh, every time it like it affects me the same way every time it's crazy you think love that freaking intro no matter what you say about fallout 4 like that intro is top notch i wouldn't change a thing about it all right let's go through the character creation fast we're gonna play as a man just because i don't know when i don't know how this playthrough is gonna end up and if it's gonna have longevity i prefer to play as a guy although i did consider playing as a chick but yeah it's gonna be a guy uh, it's all over, but the cry. Uh, I always play with a respec mod. Yeah, I guess, yeah, it's so weird you can't respec in Fallout 4, given how many perks there are. Insane amount. Play with a respec mod. Yeah, that makes sense. What's up, Bomb Bomb? What's up, D-Bird? What's up, Benny Stringbeam? Wonder if I messed up my character. I'm only level 10 and I get put points in agility, perception, and agility. I mean, there's a lot of ways to augment the special stats throughout the game, bobbleheads and stuff like that. So 
it's not like the biggest deal. Okay, so we got when making our character, we got to think who are we gonna side with. I'm not gonna spoil the factions, but I like to think who I'm gonna side with. So, faction one. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I just thought of an interesting build that I just popped into my head. Which we kind of did with Fallout New Vegas, but obviously Fallout 4 is completely different. That could be fun. Because I'd never side with that faction, ever. And then we could maybe side with that faction. Uh, I kind of want to do a Brotherhood of Steel. I mean, Brotherhood of Steel is not that much of a spoiler because they're in everything, obviously. I kind of want to do that, but honestly, I've done that for sure. They're kind of like the cool faction, so I've definitely done that. So I don't, we're definitely not doing Brotherhood of Steel. And then there's like the base faction, which is the most boring one. And then there's like the really idealistic faction, which, uh, eh, good for a stealth character, I guess. And then there is the fourth faction, which I am considering now, because I don't think I've... I mean, I've, I've got all the achievements on the Xbox One version <coughs> or Xbox 360, whatever I played it on. Was this even on 360? Probably Xbox One. But I, but yeah, I never like fully did a full playthrough with this one particular faction. So maybe we do that. Uh, narrator isn't Ron Perlman. Yeah, but I, you know, I'll take it because honestly, the voice actor for the main character does a fantastic job. Um, who is our baseline here? I, I really do like the default uh design of the main like this guy right here I, I honestly like this design he looks very unique so maybe we start with him but we change some stuff face face extra sex body yeah let's start with the body yeah so we're actually probably gonna go more thin oh god he looks like a weenie Th what's thin and large look like oh just not muscular and kind of big I mean, he definitely would be in good shape because he's, you know, traveling around the wasteland. Uh, but I don't want to make him too muscular. Probably like that. Yeah. Body, sex, extras, face. Okay, let's go to the face. I like this haircut too. I hate that I like the default design so much because I like it. don't even want to change it. But we have to change it to make it our own, basically. Uh, yeah, the intro. Oh, man, that intro. I don't know why. I don't know why it affects me so much, but it always makes me just barely tear up, and then also like get goosebumps every single time. We have been starved of decent Bethesda content. Tell me about it. Okay, which haircut do we give this guy? I kind of want to make him nerdy looking, but I don't really want to do that. I always have to have a cool looking character. I actually recently got uh, someone called me gay, I think in a comment recently, because they were like, hmm, always makes good looking male characters. Hmm, he thinks you're gay or something. And I was like, okay, that's one way to take it. <coughs> um, let's see. That one could be good. Dapper? Yeah. Nine to five? No. Rebel? Shaggy Suave? This guy would definitely have kept hair for sure. Alpha male, colonial, ooh, no, it's the, the ponytail at the back is a no. Top knot, eh, Ronin, no, garage band, beatnik, yeah, I think we go dapper, which is pretty boring, but kind of fits for this character. Crazy how this intro aged like wine with everything going on these days. Yeah, tell me about it. To all three comments, goosebumps. GV, is there a fall game you would suggest to start from, or does it not matter much? Uh, yeah, I have some suggestions for you. Warm black, jet black, gray, steel gray. How does gray look? It just looks unnatural. Gray, silver, white. But what the hell? I think we go jet black for sure. This haircut's really working for me. Does forehead matter? Type of forehead, smooth, textured, serious, lined. I want to make this guy kind of like definitely oh, younger looking. That's the face I fell in love with. That's the face I fall in love with. Maybe give him some weird looking eyebrows. Yeah, arched. That's good. Okay, eyes. Rested. Not bad. Not bad. I hate how they talk during this because it always just like distracts me when I'm trying to figure something out. Uh, yeah, I like that prominent. Which prominent, Your though? Eyes. 
That's the reason I said yes. Stop yeah. talking. You're distracting me. Let's go with that. Uh, eye color. What do we got? Steel, amber, blue, hey, ugh, dark gray, even though they're green. Green aqua. Yeah, let's give them green eyes. Light green. Hazel blue, hazel green. Yeah, I think like light green or maybe green aqua. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, nice. nose. Definitely just don't give them the pug nose. Got to remember that. Handsome, Roman, chiseled, narrow. Such let's give them a narrow nose. nose. Good. Ears, long. Give them some average. Yeah, average works. Which average, think, though? Uh, roguishly handsome or handsomely roguish? Roguishly handsome or handsomely roguish? Okay, mouth. Where's the full mouth? Okay, prominent. What about average? Yeah, we're gonna make this guy average, I think. Chin, facial hair. Okay. I don't think this guy is gonna have any facial hair. Lazy morning daddy O, chin dusting. The gentleman. Yeah, even though he would definitely benefit from some facial hair, I think we don't give him any. He's gonna be clean shaven, which is very rare for me as a character creator. Maybe give him a lit now. Now he's gonna be he's gonna be meticulous. What do you think, huh? the hell? When did I add that alert? That is like that's what the heck? I don't remember ever adding that sound. I have another Isaac alert, but it's not that one. The heck? The goodbye vids hit me hard, man. Just glad to see you're still around. Told you I'd be giving you something once my apprenticeship's over, so here you go. Love and hugs, bro. Ik kusa dinauga mine hers. Hey, what's up, like it, gentlemen? Thanks so much for the $21.41. Uh, congratulations on the apprenticeship concluding. Yeah, I mean, you know, I don't I don't even remember that much what I was saying in those videos, but I basically just wanted to update everybody on the goings on and stuff. I definitely needed a life change because I was, you know, going down a path of just, you know, nothing too insane or anything like that, but like definitely I wanted to you know, reorient myself to achieving goals that I know that I could hit because I've hit them in the past of my life. You know, I've, I've been on the upswing and the downswing and I'm very experienced with, you know, wanting to improve at certain areas and then being very happy with those improvements. So, yeah, it was just time to start going back, uh, you know, towards the right direction, basically. But thank you very much for the $21 donation. I mean, yeah, now I've been uh, I'm doing pretty well. I'm achieving those goals that I'm setting out for myself. Okay, hair good, forehead good, ears good. I think, yeah, that's our character. Back, face extras. I don't think we want to add any extras. Markings, blemishes, damage. Nah, I hate that stuff. Uh, done. Confirm character. We name him during the next section, right? Yeah, cool. Okay, <clears throat> I got to make sure I don't miss too much chat. I hate when I miss chat, but then also alt-tabbing in Bethesda games is very bad because it can crash every time. Uh, is there a fall you would suggest to start from or does it not matter much? So if you want to start with Fallout 1, you can go for it. Just keep in mind Fallout 1 and 2 are completely different. Oh, they're isometric, tactical, turn-based games. Uh, they're very wacky. Um, they're not to be taken seriously. Hello, Codsworth. <coughs> um, but yeah, um, a good Fallout to start with. So basically, yeah, you have Fallout. If you want to start from the beginning, Fallout 1 and 2 were made by different studios. I don't even know how much how much of the same people made Fallout 1 and 2 versus New Vegas because New Vegas was made by Obsidian, but 1 and 2 were made by what? Interplay or whatever. I always get confused with 1 and 2 and who made them. But uh, And then it's like the guy that made the Wasteland series was the main guy. I forget his name. It's David something, I think. Uh, what do we have to do to progress this? I always forget. Do you talk to me? Talk to me. Hey, hon. Oh, wow. Like Look at someone you. Made a girl like someone made a stinky, my sir. Hmm. You know, I holotape. Wait, are there actually holotapes you can interact with? Wait, what? Bunch of our old holotape recordings. Oh, okay. I was like, are there actually holotapes I've missed? Uh, listening to so yeah you can start with fall one and two you just have to realize fall one and two are very different they're isometric you know kind of diagonal camera angle top down or kind of top down i guess uh you know tactical Enjoy shooters your coffee, sir. 
Uh, hi. Let's play with our baby. Um, and, you know, they're turn-based tactical shooters. They're just tactical tactics games in general with a lot of guns. Uh, Fallout 1 is extremely short and sweet. Fallout 2 is way bigger and made me uh, really get frustrated with it. But that was basically because I was Let's Playing it. I, I hate my Let's Play Fallout 2 because I could have done so much better if I was more Good patient morning. with it. Calling. What's up? Uh, I, oh yeah, what type of character? Okay, we're going to be inquisitive and respectful. Good morning. I suppose. It? Just look at that sky out there. <clears throat> You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. Um, ba 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 ba. What's so important? Why, nothing less than your entire future. If you haven't noticed, sir, this country has gone to heck in a handbasket. Whoa, language. If you'll excuse my language. Yeah. The big <laughs> kaboom is. It's inevitable, I'm afraid. And coming sooner than you may think. If you catch my meaning, now I know. Yes, you're premature a ejaculation. Fellow, so I, I get it. Up much of your time, time being a um, a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault, Vault One Eleven. Sounds great. Oh, it is. Believe you me. Now, you're already cleared for entrance in the unforeseen event of uh, total atomic annihilation. <laughs> That's very convenient. Now, I just need to verify some information. That's all. Tell me more about this vault. Oh, it has all the amenities of the modern home, I assure you. Not to mention... Total protection from nuclear radiation and hostile mutants. It's interesting they know there will be hostile mutants pre-war or pre-bomb. It's our passion. Sure, let's do it. Splendid. Splendid. Now, uh, <clears throat> let's see. This guy always sounds sinister, I guess, because he's from vault Tech. Okay, uh, so yeah. Okay, let's read through these again just to catch up real quick. Strength is a better if you do raw, your raw physical power. It affects how much you can carry on the damage of all melee attacks. We're not going melee. Perception is your environmental awareness and sixth sense and affects weapon accuracy in vats. Vats in this game is a little weird because it's real time but slowed down. Endurance is a measure of your overall physical fitness. It affects your total health and the action point drain from sprinting, which is important because I hate not being able to sprint infinitely in an open world game. Charisma is your ability to charm and convince others. It affects your success to persuade a dialogue and prices when you barter. Never cared about bartering. If you're doing everything in the game, you're going to have enough caps anyways, typically. Intelligence is a measure of your overall mental acuity. It affects the number of experience points earned, which always sounded really OP to me, considering the more intelligent you are, the faster you level up. Agility is a measure of your overall finesse. Reflexes affects the number of action points and vats and your ability to sneak. Definitely not doing a sneak playthrough. Luck is a measure of your general good fortune and affects the recharge rate of critical hits. Okay, so we're going to be an intelligent character. This is going to be a intelligence playthrough, the opposite of a, an idiot savant playthrough, which is super fun. Uh, strength is going to be really low, probably a 2. Perception would be pretty high. Weapon accuracy. What does that even mean? Event, environmental awareness and sixth sense? What does that even mean? Does that that doesn't mean anything for the, in terms of the game, right? Uh, but yeah, we'd be pretty perceptive, I would say. If you're intelligent, you're perceptive typically, right? Uh, endurance going to be pretty low, probably a three. Charisma would be decent, I would say like a five. Agility a two, maybe luck a two. They always force your hand in this to be so. Yeah, I feel like the the special points are so low. Strength two, I'm good with that. Perception six, sure. Endurance three, yep. Charisma 5, sure. Intelligence 8, yep. Agility 2, yep, that's fine. Luck 2, yes. Yeah, it's always a rock and a hard place for special stats and fall for it, I feel like. Wonderful. That's everything. Uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Uh, thank you so much. Bye-bye. Uh, hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? The main character. No price is too high. 
Good answer. I have my moments. The voice actor for this game is so good, but certain lines are so bad. Like right there, it sounds so can when he's like, the price of safety, no price is too high or whatever. It's like a terribly delivered line, I feel like. Okay, hello, my baby Sean. Nice to see you. Let's play with Sean. Um, day two. Thank you again, Low Country Grace. This was my first ever Fallout game I played when it released in 2015. As a casual player, I love that I never really understood the hate even back then. Yeah, like I said, it was re super duper review bombed when the game came out. What? I always forget what order you have to do things to progress. Oh, yeah, you got to spin the mobile. Uh, this is a reference to Fallout 3, the song that plays at the beginning when you're a little baby. Uh, pretty Much cool little now, huh? reference there, which is weird because that came out way breakfast. before. I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Like that song, like this is in 2077, the 200 years later or whatever. That song is still used in the vaults. I guess it would make sense because it's like pre-war tech or whatever, or pre-bomb tech. Yeah, sounds like fun. Yeah. Sir, Mom, you should come and see this. Codsworth, what's wrong? What's going on, Codsworth? Nothing bad, I hope. By, Nothing too bombastic. Yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes. Brown. Sounds of explosions. Golden free. Uh, GB, it's funny that Bethesda is under Xbox, but this Xbox Series X version is sort of broken, where as the PS5 on performance mode seems to have a better graphics and everything. That's, um, that is pretty confirmed weird. Reports. I repeat, confirmed reports of Why are there no dialogue subtitles? Hold on. Gameplay, blah blah blah. Controls, blah blah. blah display, general subtitles on. I guess even though that just shows people going like, "I had lunch." That's fine. Both of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My God. Oh my God. We we need to get to the vault now. Let's go. Run! Thank God we just signed up for the vault last minute. I don't know how, especially in, you know, the the 70, the 2070s, but in reality, like, you know, it feels like the 50s. I don't know how they would, like, pass that information along that we belong in the vault that quickly, but you know, works for me, I suppose. We're on the list. We're on the list, sir. We need to get in. We're on the list. Infant. Adult male, adult female. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Thank you. We're special. What's going to happen to all those people outside the They're all dead. They're all dying. They're dead, I'm afraid. Trevor. Uh, Trevor would have been a good name. Orville. Oh, that would have been a really good name, too. Yeah. Some good names there. Orville would have probably been my choice. Almost there. We're There's a okay. peak near me called Smythe I Peak. Love you. That's both that's, of you. We love you too. Oh, Smythe Park. Oh my God! That's why I did it. Hold on! Can't this thing move faster? Oh God! Oh God! Oh God! Oh God. Again, at the very least, you would at least have to have some radiation there, right? Like, how is, so you just have all this nuclear radiation and blast go over your head by, like, a foot or two feet? And you're just perfectly fine? We did it. I'm not a nuclear we scientist or anything. But I'm assuming something bad would happen to you. That, that just always strikes me as unrealistic. And also, they're very lucky. No need to worry, folks. We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Vault 111. A better future underground. They're very lucky also that they had the vault which has an elevator going down instead of the vault like, you know, just moving to the right or to the left because they would have just been killed. Hello. Thank you. What now? Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. This doctor here. Follow me. Okay, let's go. Take me to where I need to go. See? <coughs> This is our new home. 28 oh, special luck. starting points compared to this 40 in New Vegas, and 3 facilities. is just me. So I'm right. Yeah, I never knew. I was like, does Fall 4 actually have less special oh, stats? It feels like less. And apparently, yes, that's true, which, yeah, totally makes sense because it always feels way too little in Fallout 4. I don't know why that is. 
Just a few medical items we have to get through first. Don't you think? Just Vault checking everyone off the list as they come as well as in. What's the name of the track playing on the break right now again? I forgot its name. Uh, it probably, it was an Oblivion track. I don't know what it would be called, but one of the typical Oblivion exploration. Just step in here and put your Vault suit on. Tracks. Okay. Decontamination pod. Let's go. Watch any more of the Fallout show? No, I'm still only at two episodes watched. Before we head deeper in the vault, just relax. Time for a whole new life. I feel like, like, ironically, I want to go through these intros quickly because I've seen them so many times. But I feel like they're just a little too quick. Like, I feel like he just accepts this so fast. They're just like, get in this pod. You and your wife get in these pods that you don't know what they're going to do, you know? And he's like, okay, whatever. But the game has to keep moving, obviously. Can't get over the graphics. So far, it looks pretty similar, but I remember when I get out into Sanctuary, I was like, oh, okay, this looks, yeah, definitely improved. They should make a bombless mod for this game where the bombs never drop. That would be interesting. And then you just kind of live your life. Live your life, make it a little sim sort of thing. Life sim. Surprised that's not a mod, to be honest. They could use all the assets that were present pre-bomb. Dudes rush to his van to Morse code your info. Oh, <laughs> yeah, true. I mean, we could change the name before we leave the vault. Oh, yeah, that's right. Which actually makes more sense, too. Actually, like, roleplay-wise, that would make more sense to change your stuff when you leave the vault. Because, like, who are you when you enter the wasteland? You're not the same person you once were, you know. Rip. I'll remember you, unnamed man. And what you have done to my wife. You die, you dead. Wouldn't have been as cool, though, because you can level them up. Level them one by one, but leveling 12 times just to make up the missing special points just sucks. To be honest, give me plus 12 special in commands <coughs> at each fresh start of a Fallout 4 run. Just feels too little. It feels, it feels like a very hard choice, but maybe that's the point. It always, it all, I'm never I'm never happy with the special spread when I start Fallout 4. It just feels like to you you can specialize in one stat and then everything else is terrible. But you know, whatever. It's not that big of a deal. You can add everything else over time, obviously. Out of time. Alright. Come on! There has to be a release! There has to be a release! Come on. Oh, I love God. his voice acting here every time. Oh god! I'll find who did this. And I'll get Sean back. I promise. I'll avenge you, my wife. Okay, we go over the vault computer here, and it says something like, what does it say? It says like R, R Pod, Nora and Sean infant, but Smythe, remote override and gate. Oh, so they came in and they remotely overrid our pod. So that we wouldn't die when they killed every- so they killed everybody else? I was always confused exactly what happens here. But yeah, the people that come in and shoot our wife, they kill everybody else, but they keep us alive because they say we're the backup. Basically. Yeah, kind of messed up, bro. So yeah, welcome to Fallout 4, ladies and gentlemen. If you've never seen or played this game, um... Yeah, it was a pretty interesting was a pretty interesting Fallout game at the time, because obviously they started pre... I keep wanting to say pre-war. Why do I keep wanting to say pre-war? Uh, you know. It was like pre-bombs, which was super cool, because Fallout 3, you start after, you know, in a vault. <coughs> Afterwards. Vault 111 Security Instructions. Operations Protocol Manual. Resident admittance staff, duty science staff, security personnel, facility services and maintenance. 
All clear and evacuation. All clear message. Mandatory shelter, period. Security logs. I, I don't like when games do this, when they, like, overload you with, like, information right at the start of a game. I feel like it's fine later on, but to, like, have this much stuff in two terminals already, I just feel like is... I don't know. Maybe maybe it's just how many games I've played at this point, but it's like, all right, come on, let's get it moving. I don't want to sit here and read for, you know, X amount of time. But maybe that's just, be, that's just because these days I do most of my playthroughs either on Twitch or YouTube, maybe... If I was still playing purely offline, like back giant in the day. Roaches? What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? Oh, was giant roaches. What? Okay, uh, Red Menace Holotape in here, which gives us a little mini game, which we should play because I've never played the mini games really, ever. This is just like an arcade machine, basically. Uh, but yeah, welcome to Fallout 4. Uh, this game came out in 2015. It is still the latest Fallout game. That exists, which is kind of insane. God, it's already been almost 10 years. Holy moly, dude. Time just keeps churning and churning and churning. Um, but yeah, it is... Uh, yeah, because, I mean, they made Fallout 76, which, again, you know, to each their own, obviously. I don't want to, like, crap on someone's opinion of that game. It would, I, I've, I've mentioned this a lot in the past, but when you have a game that is, like, an absolute joke when it releases, and then they slowly over time make it Where better, it? and then I'm supposed to like it now. I, I, I'm very, like, rebellious to that to that uh, idea. To me, it's like, nah, you should have just made a good game from the start, which obviously, okay, that's a little redu reductive. I, I, I understand. All that to say, I just like, yeah, Fallout 76, I have kind of a chip on my shoulder against it just because, you know, I, I was there, man. I was there, man. Uh, I was there when it came out, and I, I was, like, forced to like it at gunpoint because it was my job. And I there was just, I remember, there was, like, a, a morning where I woke up mega hungover, and I was just not in the mood. And I was just like, guys, I hate this game. <laughs> this game sucks. This is not a real Fallout game. Um, but apparently, they have done a lot of additions. Apparently, it's good now or something. Some level of good, so who knows, this month, since it's mainly Bethesda-themed, at least at the start, uh, we may go and check it out, you know? Maybe maybe we'll actually do a good uh, little playthrough of Fallout 76, or at least, you know, checking out the majority of the stuff, because I've tried in the past, and never really stuck, same thing with Elder Scrolls Online, although I have respect for Elder Scrolls Online. Okay, Vault 101 Overseer Instructions, Cryolator, Operations Protocol Manual, Res Resident Admittance, Staff Duties. This is the same stuff we read earlier. Yeah, it's just way too much. Way too much for the beginning of the game. You can add this much dialogue later. Just too much at the beginning. Although this is this is from another terminal, so it doesn't really count. Overseer's Log, Preparations, October 23rd, Systems Malfunction, Supplies Running Low... Mutiny, open evacuation tunnel. That's what we're looking for. Uh, there's other stuff to be grabbed here. The gun, the bullets, skeleton. Uh, what else? What else? Oh, pre-war money and bobby pin. Uh, yeah, I mentioned this before. Yeah, uh, cry later. You can get the dog, have him come in here, like do the search function or whatever, and he'll go and he'll grab the cryo later. Uh, which you normally need a master level lock to unlock. And still to this day, I've gotten comments on that video throughout all of time. And still to this day, I still get comments on it. Which apparently it still works. I, I don't know. It's hard to tell. It's one of those internet things where like half the people say it doesn't work. Half the people say it does still work. I don't know. I don't. Uh, I just made that video in case people were interested. But I don't ever cheese games typically. So not for me regardless. Uh, boop. And boop. And boop. And boop. Cool. Do, 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 do. Great lunchtime entertainment. What is up, pestilent fellow? Boop. Uh, it's kind of a shame they didn't have anyone else at all survive the vault. Yeah, because I guess Fallout 1... Fallout 1, there is... Boop. Uh, Fallout 1, there's a lot of people in the vault. Fallout... Two. There's a lot of people in the vault. Fall two is weird because you're like tribal. 
That's kind of interesting. Fallout 3, there's a lot of people in the vault. Fallout 4, there is no vault that you start out in, at least. And then Fallout 4, you're the only person. You're the real lone survivor. Or is that what he's called? I always forget the names from game to game, what they're supposed to be called. Is he the lone survivor? Yeah, he's the lone survivor, right? In this one. The Pip-Boy. Change tabs with RT or LT. Let's do it. It's technically called pre-war. That's what I thought. I was like, it's it's called pre-war. Pre-war tech. Yeah. Uh, thank you for the follows, folks. Welcome to the stream. Bam. Here we go! It's the big vault opening animation. I think everyone else died due to a malfunction, unless someone did it remotely. That's what I thought too. I thought they died to a malfunction, but then our pod was manually overridden. So they they overrid our pod, and I guess if they didn't do that, we would have died to the malfunction. Oh my god! Died to the malfunction as well, I guess. Let me add him. Let me add him. Do, do. Change names, special attributes, change appearance. I think we're good. I'll, our guy's a little wonky looking, but that works for the character that I have in mind. Let's exit. What's up, Moore? Welcome in. What's up, Chopper Lewis? Welcome in. Stream where you watched the Fallout 76 failures video was hilarious. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I always want to be fair with a game. It's just, you know, I mean, you got to look at it this way. Like, obviously, I've done a lot of Bethesda stuff, which has literally carved out my lifestyle and, you know, helped me to... You know, create a lifestyle that I've maintained to this day. And so to be betrayed by that very, you know, you could say it's biting the hands that, that feed you, I guess. But let's be honest, man. I mean, I, you know, half of it is obviously the game. Half of it is, is me and my commentary that I'm adding to the game or whatever. I don't know. I guess what I'm trying to say is it just sucks. Like, you know, devoting so much time and energy and love to... The Elder Scrolls and Fallout as series and Bethesda, who, have, you know, at his time could do no wrong. Only for, you know, obviously Fallout Shelter, which Fallout Shelter was cool, I guess. But obviously, you know, it's more you know, the mobile game and the Fallout, you know, Elder Scrolls Blades, Fallout 76. Uh, what else? Uh, Starfield. Am I missing any? To have just a string of that sort of stuff as opposed to you know, an open world, good, rich game to explore and have fun with for so long. You know, I don't want to sound like a typical, like, entitled fan. Because, yeah, part of it is entitled. You got to let, you know, the studio go through their process. You got to let them make the stuff that they want to make. But, you know, to, to, like, not have anything of, in my opinion, which, again, you might be the biggest fan of Starfield. You might be the biggest fan of uh, Fallout 76. That's perfectly fine. But in my opinion, to not have anything of substance since Fallout 4 <clears throat> is a little crazy. So, I don't know. I, I want to be fair to games like 76 and to games like Starfield. But it's just, to me, not hitting the mark that previously was established by games such as Skyrim, Oblivion, Morrowind, Fallout 3, New Vegas... Fallout 4, even, which I've definitely appreciated more and more time as time has passed. I don't know, man. But maybe this month, maybe this very month, we will give it another shot. Maybe we'll dive into Fallout 76 and see how good it really is. Maybe we'll have a newfound affinity for it. Probably not. I just don't like games that are set up to be like half multiplayer. Not a big fan of that. <coughs> but we'll see. You're still here. So, other people could still be alive, too. But of course I'm still here! Surely you don't think a little radiation could deter the pride of General Atomics International? <laughs> but you seem the worse for wear. Best not let the wife see you in that state, hmm? She's Where dead! The missus, by the way? <laughs> they killed her! 
A better place, wife's killer. She can't be dead. They came into the vault. Maybe you saw them, armed, wearing strange outfits. Hmm. Early Miss Rose's boy running around in his Halloween costume. More than a week early. I swear, the nerve of that woman leaving her brat unsupervised. Ha <laughs> ha, not like this family, sir. You and the missus have always been such a responsible couple. Oh, where is she, by the by? She is obliterated. They killed her. They... They killed her. They killed her. Sir, my wife. These, saying, these, these terrible things. Uh, I believe you'll need a distraction. Yes. A distraction to calm this dire mood. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers, or perhaps charades. Sean does so love that game. <laughs> perhaps I can whip you up a snack? <laughs> you must be famished. You okay? Codsworth, you're acting a little bit weird. What's wrong? I... I... Oh, sir, it's been just horrible. Two centuries with no one to talk to. No, no Yen, you can't come over here. I just stay there, I can pet you here. Last ten years trying to keep the floors waxed, but nothing gets out nuclear fallout from Yen. <laughs> nothing. And don't get me started about the futility of dusting a collapsed house and the car. The car! How do you polish rust? Is the stream still going in and out? I mean, my bitrate is fine. And it says I have 0% dropped frames. So I'm not sure why things would be going in and out on my end. It might be Twitch's end, maybe? Whoa, whoa. Focus, Codsworth. Uh, I'm afraid I don't know anything, sir. The bombs came and all of you left in such a hurry. I thought for certain you and your family were dead. I did find this hollow tape. I, I believe the missus was going to present it to you as a, as a surprise. But then, well, everything happened. Thank you, Codsworth. You're, you're welcome. Now. And I'm feeling sorry for myself. Shall we search the neighborhood together? The missus and young Sean may turn up yet. Vault 1 is the vault dweller. Yeah, this one's the lone survivor. Vault, <laughs> vault uh, Fallout New Vegas is the courier. Fallout 3 is the lone wanderer? It's like a lone something every time. Uh, sure. All right. Okay, yeah, you got to go Lead down. the way. Round 2 serves, sir. She like she gets this obsession with me petting her, standing right here on the mouse, then it like moves over the ground. <coughs> Vault dweller chosen. Oh, that's right, the chosen one. Lone wanderer, New Vegas courier six. Yep, lone survivor. Right. Okay, so fun fact: I mentioned this in the YouTube video. There is a special book here, which will give you a free special attribute. A uh, pretty neat little bonus here. Uh, strength is literally unimportant, although carry weight's nice. Perception would be good. Endurance, meh. Charisma, I don't think this guy's too charismatic. Yeah, I think he's fine at five. Intelligence would go up to nine, and then I guess the bobblehead would take it to ten. Yeah, let's just do intelligence. We'll be super intelligent. Uh, are you going to continue this playthrough? Yeah, the idea is at least... I mean, I'm definitely, like, in a I want to do Fallout 4 mood. So, we'll see how long that takes, because like I said, we 100 percent of this game not too long ago. But the idea is we're at least going to see the new content added, whatever the Enclave Remnants is, and then the Halloween Wasteland thing. It sounds like two of the three new things added are just like, you know, Workshop, whatever. But I would still like to see it. So yeah, the Halloween Workshop, or whatever it is, and then whatever the second, like, you know, Armor Mods, or whatever it was is and then also uh the uh enclave remnants whatever that is hopefully it's not just an armor mod i hope they actually put some story stuff with the new content that would be nice but yeah we're gonna at least see the new stuff basically that's the plan 
And then we'll go from there. They're really gone, aren't they? Uh, what now? Come on, Codsworth. I need your help. Where can I go? Well, you could head into the city. Concord is nearby. But the people there are mm, as put together as I You're am. not put together at all, Mr. Codsworth. Thanks for your help, Codsworth. Good luck, sir. You'll find young Sean. I know you will. Young Sean. Okay, thank you. Dude, what is... <laughs> I swear to God, all NPCs in my playthroughs, they just walk into a door frame and stop. No matter what, it's crazy. God, my freaking throat. It has like an itch. It just causes me to cough constantly. Okay, now we can actually be on our way. We have to get a weapon of the type that we are using, which will happen uh, for our... We have to get a weapon of the type of our build. We have to get a weapon for the build that we're going for, but that'll happen pretty soon. Uh, either way, we need to go to Concord and also listen to that hall tape and also switch wedding rings, which I like to do just to honor our wife, Nora. Just a little thing that I like to do in my playthroughs. Uh, I had to leave for a bit. What were the special stats build for this character? Basically, super intelligence. I'll show you here. Two strength, six perception, three endurance, five charisma, nine intelligence. Not bad. Two agility, two luck. So basically, he's just super intelligent is uh, the idea, which you could probably guess what type of weapon I want to end up using in this playthrough, which, uh, yeah, I, do, uh, I don't think I've ever done. Or have have I? If I have, I don't even remember it. <coughs> but, um, yeah, we're going to go for, hopefully, an interesting build. Intelligence is always fun because you just get a lot of experience. Bethesda has done you right by giving you material to use, but you've done yourself more right than Bethesda, so opinions should be allowed. Well, I never... I mean, for anybody that's watched me for any period of time, you know that I'm a very opinionated person. I don't usually... I don't usually care too much of, you know, biting myself in the foot or whatever you want to call it. Shooting myself in the foot. I, I don't want to ever be the guy that's just like, hey I have to love this thing. Myself. It's going to further my career. So I love this thing. You know, Fallout. I love all Fallout. I love 76. I love everything. Like, if the Fallout show is terrible, I don't want to be the guy that's like, I love it. It's great. Like, that, screw that. It's Nothing is worth that. You know, being like a shell of a human being for the sake of you know, progressing your brand. That's disgusting. So I've never wanted to be that. So like, yeah, if, even though I've done a lot of Bethesda, if something sucks, I'm going to say it sucks. Sorry. Uh, you're okay. Owner. Who's your owner, buddy? Greet okay, the dog. Let's stick together. He's a good boy. Face your dog and press A to begin issuing commands. Well, your command is just to come with me and let's F stuff up. Okay, we got the workbench, exit, transfer, store. All oh, we never did the... I never did the gold bar room. I can't believe it. Let's go back to Sanctuary and do that real quick. Gotta show you guys all the secrets. And do the Mothman subplot of Fallout 76. I mean, yeah, I would if I could, but I think it was like... At least when the game came out, it was like higher level or something. You had to do a lot to be able to do it, I think. I could be wrong. Well, I mean, yeah, if we could do the Mothman cryptid stuff, for sure, that's some of the most interesting stuff to me, anyways. Kill him, kill Codsworth. Uh, he is very annoying. Um, probably just because I don't like when a game starts with tons and tons of dialogue and reading, and Codsworth's kind of like, you have to go through the Codsworth dialogue every single time. It just takes forever. Hi, Yen. I have tried to keep up with the lore. Uh, this guy showed up for a second, but now it's fine. Oh, that guy. I have 0.0% .0 dropped frames, and I my bitrate seems fine, so I don't know why that happened, but... Okay, so if you didn't know, there's a house back here that has a hatch where you can get an early gold bar, which I'm not sure if it's worth to sell it or if it's worth to just have it for the gold material, basically. But uh, it's a nice little secret I didn't know about for the longest time. There's a hatch back here. A uh, root cellar. Uh, GV, did you say leveling up intelligence will make you level up faster? Uh, yeah. The more intelligence you have in Fallout 4, and I think all the Fallouts, basically, uh, the faster, the more experience you get for everything, pretty much, right? 
Insta mash 45. Oh, there's two gold bar. Wow, I missed that gold bar in the YouTube video, I think. There's three gold bars. Holy crap, I think I missed two out of three of those. Uh, boop, boop, boop. Take the purified water, which is the same purified water in the show, which is pretty cool. Uh, stim packs times two. There's some pre war money. Cans are good. Aluminum cans are good for building materials. And let's go ahead and sleep on this nasty ass mattress to get some HP back. Okay. <clears throat> uh, the Enclave are the remnants of the pre war government and military. Yeah, I'm aware of what the Enclave is. I'm saying I hope the Enclave content pack whatever that they added for the next gen update is actually story based and not just like here's enclave armor because i feel like bethesda does that a lot i feel like bethesda will you know give you new content but like half of it is you know different types of armors or whatever you know i'm, I'm mainly interested obviously in story stuff stuff that actually has a quest line to it or whatever there is a new quest line which involves the Enclave. Okay, so it is story based. Good. Energy weapons, or is that science? Uh, are there. Wait, are there no skills in Fallout 4? Yeah, you just get perks. That's so weird. Right? Or am I. No, yeah, you just get perks. There's no skills. That's so weird. Yeah, there's no science, right? Uh, yeah, I want to go for energy weapons, basically. Yep. So far, loving the storyline. Yeah, we'll we'll uh, recap what has happened in the story as well, because I don't want to uh, don't want to get away from what is going on in the story, just because I've played these games a lot and tend to go through them quickly, at least at the beginning, because you know you, you've seen the beginning fourteen thousand times. If you are me or anybody else that's a Fallout fan. Okay, telephones are good to take, right? Toasters are good for aluminum, I am assuming. Uh, let me go back here. We grab the cap stash. We grab the chems. We look at the red rocket terminal. Business entries, new equipment installed. Rosa restoration. Safe storage. Go back. October service log. So what? A to who? A thrahi. A fahor, a fahive. Cool. That's everything, right? Okay. Uh, there is also a secret cave back here. Fun fact, which I didn't realize for the longest time that this was even back here. Kind of crazy how you'll go through a game so many times and not realize something is staring at you in the face right from the get go. But yeah, there's a little bit of a, uh, basically, I think the story here was like they were illegally... Was it, uh, was it the Red Rocket? Yeah, I guess so. I guess it's like fuel, I guess, because it's like a gas station, right? So they were like illegally dumping like nuclear waste material back here. That's basically what this says. That this is like a an award for like, I think, I think the idea here is like it's an award for clean disposal of nuclear activity, which is very ironic because they're actually just dropping it in this cave, uh, which is very similar to a Sopranos episode I just watched where they're like trying to get rid of asbestos. <coughs> they're trying to get rid of asbestos and they end up like there's this big scuffle between the mob, the mob leaders, and they end up just like drum dropping the asbestos in Florida? Where even are they? I don't know. There, there's so much like traveling in Sopranos. I guess in New Jersey. It wouldn't make sense if they're in Florida. Yeah, they end up just dumping all the asbestos in like the New Jersey River or whatever it's called. I've never been to New Jersey. I don't know. But yeah, uh, not good. Not good for the environment. Ba -ba -ba. And we got our first level up. Do, do, do. You won't say the show is terrible for what it's worth? No, the show is very good. I was just, I was just saying as an example... Just because I've done a lot of Bethesda stuff in the past, there's no way in hell if the show came out and it was trash, I would be like, the show is so good. 
you know, I, 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 I'm on Twitter every now and then, and there's a lot of, you know, obviously Twitter is the home of echo chambers where there's mindless like, yeah, I agree with that. I agree with that. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. It's just like uh, the absence of critical thought sometimes, you know what I'm saying? But luckily for us, the show is very good. So, uh, yeah, uh, probably the best video game adaptation I've seen. I'm trying to think there was like one recently cyberpunk edge runners was also extremely good. I had always heard that it was good. And then watching cyberpunk edge runners, I was like, Oh, it's really good. But, um, yeah, luckily the show is very good, so we don't have to be critical of it, really. Uh, LVBIK 95 thank you very, very much for the brand new subscription. Welcome to the stream. Also, we got our first level up. Let's do that. Welcome to the gigantic level up poster thing. Uh, this thing is insane. It's got so many perks. Uh, where the heck do I even... Is it Intelligence? Fans of path to the closest quest target. Nope. Although, what's this one? Gain plus two to perception. Oh, wow. Medic, boring, gun nut, hacker, scrapper. Take full advantage of advanced technology with access to base level and rank one high tech mods. Chems, robotics expert, nuclear physicist. Radiation weapons do 50% more damage and fusion cores last longer. Double damage. Fusion cores can be ejected from power armor like a devastating grenades and fusion cores last toy. What the heck? Yeah, they really got creative with these perks. I really like it. Um, radiation weapons? Is that a viable type of weapon in this game? Commando sneak. Where's... I'm assuming... Wait, there's definitely energy weapons in Fallout 4, right? Where, where's the energy weapons perk? I'm assuming there is a an energy weapons perk. Adventuring without a companion to get 50% less damage and carry weight. Do we want to... Maybe we do a companion playthrough, because I never do companion playthroughs. 20 maximum health, awareness... I'm assuming there is an energy weapons perk, right? Where would that even be? Because the laser musket is literally an energy weapon. Or does it just not matter in Fall 4? Maybe I've just have never used energy weapons and I don't even know. But the laser musket is literally an energy weapon, isn't it? Yeah, there's definitely energy weapons. Uh, oh, crap. I'm missing chat and I hate to alt tab. And I should have saved before I did that. Whoops. Uh, d -d 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 I didn't like the show for numerous reasons, but I can see why others would see it different. Why didn't you like the show? I'm curious. Love your Fallout content of watching New Vegas 100% play through numerous times. Thank you. Uh, Ronin, welcome in. Thanks for watching. Codsworth's the man. Preston deservingly gets all the heat, though. Why make me the general if you keep giving me orders, Preston? I like Preston as a character, but the whole giving you constant garbage quests that just bog up your quest list is annoying. Especially for me, because I like to have a clean quest list uh pre-war money is great to trade depending on your stats like a four to one eight to one trade easy way to get a lot of caps i try to always prevent it from being destroyed into cloth oh yeah yeah this game does that weird some stuff is worth holding on to but then you have to store all junk sort of thing yeah i don't like that i wish they didn't do that for certain stuff like golden paper money or uh pre-war money registers yep I know I'm probably one of the few people that hold this option opinion, but if I had to choose between Brotherhood of Steel or Enclave, I'm choosing Enclave, especially if it's the reformist faction. Uh, that would be fine. Um, I would say the uh, Enclave that's portrayed in Fallout 2 are straight up evil. So I don't know about that one. Let's hold on to our perk for now. Yeah, Fallout 2 Enclave is the opening cutscene. If you haven't seen the opening cutscene for Fallout 2 is uh, pretty brutal. Pretty brutal. They're not good guys in Fallout 2. That's for sure. I thank you again, SLV, for the brand new sub. Anyone's opinion on Cooper Howard officially having only four in Int? Big cap on what they showed us. Okay, no spoilers for the show, by the way, because I'm literally... We've only watched episodes one and two. So if there's any, like, spoilers or... Talking about stuff I haven't seen yet. Please hold off. 
on that. Because, like, who is Cooper Howard? Is Cooper Howard's not the guy played by Ralph Emerson, right? I don't even remember his name. What was his name? Bum, ba, ba, bum, ba, ba, bum, 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 Hello! Ba ba da ba. Ba ba ba. Ba ba ba. Ba ba Oh yeah, you know what? My favorite song would probably actually be. The one that goes like. Ba 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 ba. Ba ba ba. Ba 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 ba. Yeah, there, there's some really good music in Fallout 4. It sounds very like. It fits the uh, Boston area for whatever reason. It really works well with it, I feel like. Like I, yeah, I like that one. That's like ba 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 ba. Okay, short laser musket. This is an energy. Is there no energy weapon perks? I know the chat is saying it, so we'll catch up in a second. Put that there. We'll use this. We've definitely done an energy weapons playthrough, haven't we? I don't. I don't know. Maybe we'll do radiation damage because I, I think I've always written that off as like, why do radiation damage when I can just kill somebody? You know. But we'll see. Uh, radiation weapons are all right. There's a perk for legendary weapons that drop as well. Anyone's opinion on Cooper Howard officially having four in int? Big cap on what they showed us. See, I don't know what that means. I'm assuming you're talking about the show. I don't know who that is. Unless it's the scientist character, which I am forgetting his name. But I feel like it would have rung a bell at the same time. Maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> There's no energy weapons perk, you just pick Rifleman, depending on the model of the energy weapon you're using. Oh. Wait, what? Oh yeah, you gotta crank it. I don't think I've ever... Boop! Yeah, this weapon's fun. I like this weapon. There's no energy weapons? Ew. Well then, maybe we change your... Okay. Well, I was assuming we'll go and tell the Jensen we'll do your typical, like, hacker. You know, extremely good with scientific stuff, that sort of thing. And then we'll go energy weapons. There is a very unique side quest where you get a very unique energy weapon. But now I'm kind of... If there's no energy weapons perk, that's really sad. Why would they do that? Energy weapons have always been, like, a really big part of a uh, Fallout. That's really weird. Well, maybe we'll change the build now, then. I don't know. We'll have to think about it. Um, it doesn't matter what Logan said. Depends on the type of weapon. Pistol or rifle perk. Laser weapons benefit from rifleman, right? If you use a laser pistol, go with gunslinger. Laser rifle, go with rifleman. Laser, go commando. Gatling laser, go heavy gunner. Shoot. There are magazines that will benefit energy weapons. Oh, that's right, yes. The magazine. That's so weird. Why do they dictate that to magazines? Yeah, it never really dawned on me that Fall 4 doesn't even have skills. Just the perk chart. Weird. Uh, it's the cowboy dude? Oh. Cooper How Oh, so Cooper Howard is the ghoul's official name. From the beginning. Four and int. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense, because... Well, four seems a little bit low, especially for, I'm assuming, a very cool main character. You want them to be somewhat intelligent, or it's hard to get behind, like, a total dumb dumb. But, I guess so, yeah. I mean, you like, a ten would be a literal mastermind genius, right? So, like, you would think most of the Wastelanders are around middle of the line, maybe four to six sort of situation. Where did they say he officially has a four in int? Where did where did they discuss their stats? I'm curious about that. You're so friendly during combat, saying hello cheerfully before kill. I think uh, that's just like a streamer thing. I think I've seen a lot of streamers do that. I think it's just like just a, a thing you get in the habit of, basically. What's up, Crego? Lack of energy weapon perks is part of a wider Fall Four problem. Sacrificing build customization for a more arcadey style of play. Yes, I would agree with that for sure. Huh. Okay, well, I'm going to do a hacking tutorial because I always love doing a hacking tutorial for the one person that doesn't know how to hack in Fallout games. Because just like you, I used to not 
ever want to figure it out. I just used to spam it until it clicked. And then I would go about my day. But you're going to learn today. So, how to hack in Fallout uh, in general. I think it's been the same since Fallout 3. Basically, I always start in the bottom right word just because I like to do that. Uh, you can start anywhere. But I would start in the top left or the bottom right just so you can keep track of where you are. Uh, and you basically just want to always pick the first word because there's no reason not to, really. So we're going to go with dunes. Uh, and then it says likeness equals zero, which tells us none of those letters in dunes is in the correct spot. So we, if we compare that to the next word up, which is lines, we know it cannot be lines because dunes and lines have the same last three letters, N-E-S. So we can skip lines because we know it's not going to be that. So then we can go to the next word up, which is crime. Compare it to dunes, D-U-N-E-S. It can be crime because none of the same letters are in the same spots in crime as it is in dunes. So we go for that. And that sucks because it also has zero correct uh, letters. So then we go to the next one, slate. We compare that to, we can compare it to both, but you know, it's however you want to do it. So, D-U-N-E-S, it could be Slate, and then we compare it to Crime, C-R-I-M-E. Uh, so, it cannot be Slate, because Crime and Slate have an E at the end, and both Crime and Dunes don't have any correct letters. So, we go to Sight, D-U-N-E-S, could be Crime, C-R-I-M-E, could be. So, it could be Sight, Sweet. and it is Sight. And then, further from that... Uh, basically, you have four tries, so if you use three out of the four, you do not want to go for the fourth because if you fail it, you'll be locked out forever unless you get a perk that lets you go back and try it again, which you don't want to waste a perk on that. You just basically want to think ahead. So if you use three out of the four, you then want to find syntax, open and close parentheses or brackets, because they either will remove a dud answer or they will refresh your tries. So basically, use it until you have one try left and go find the syntax and try to get your tries refreshed, basically. It's how the hacking works. Uh, so then we can open up this, and inside is a fusion core, which powers up the power armor in this game, which I never, ever use. It would be cool to do a, like, a big, heavy guns power armor playthrough, but... <coughs> Just never typically do it, basically. Okay, jet... You always look for the chem coolers because they have drugs you can sell or use. Maybe we'll be a drug user in this playthrough. I mean, he's like, I idealized him as, I, or I, I've envisioned him as like a very upkempt scientific nerd type. But maybe he uses drugs because he recognizes the potential power from them. Upper hand in combat sort of situation, you know? Okay, let's keep going. Um, it's not actually official, but they added four of the characters to Fallout Shelters. And there, these characters have those stats. Oh. That's interesting. Okay. Um, yeah, I would, I would love if they came out with official stats of, like, the characters in the Fallout show. That'd be pretty funny, actually. Ooh. So yeah, we got the laser musket, which is a pretty cool uh, new weapon when this game came out. Basically, it's a single-shot rifle that you have to crank, but it does uh, quite a lot of damage if it's fully cranked, and it only takes one shot, so it's ammo-efficient, I would say. Do, do, do. Let's go up here. You can go back after like 10 or 20 seconds in Fallout 4. You can go back after 10 or 20 seconds. Wait, what are you referring to? What does that mean, go back? Also, here's the VAT system, vault assisted targeting system. I said system system. Uh, it's different in this game, which I, I kind of like actually. They made it so that it's uh, real time, but slowed down. Whereas in the previous games, it was time paused when you use VATs. I try to not use it just because I want, like, more of a challenge for myself these days after playing so much Fallout, obviously. But, uh, yeah, it's a fun little, um, there's a lot of perks related to, uh, VATS Vault Assisted Targeting System. Wait. No, it has to be Vault Tech Assisted 
targeting system, right? This is what VATS stands for. It's been a thing since Fallout 3. Wait, since Fallout 1? Man, I don't know who you are, but just... It was in Fallout 1, right? What's up? Okay, uh, magazine here, he collected and issued Robco Fun includes the Autom Atomic Command Holotape Game. This is the worst magazine because it just has a mini game, which, you know, we want to actually stat benefits, basically. Preston Garvey. What's up? Commonwealth Minutemen. God damn it. Minutemen? So now I'm traveling backward in time? Protect the people at a minute's notice. That was the idea. So I joined up, Maybe. wanted to make a difference. And I did, but <sighs> nope. Things fell apart. Now it looks like I'm the last Minuteman left standing. Please, go on. A month ago, there were 20 of us. Yesterday, there were eight. Now we're five. First it was the ghouls in Lexington, and now this mess. Ghouls? What are ghouls? Wow. Maybe? You really aren't from around here, are you? <sighs> nope. Ghouls are... irradiated people. Most are just like you and me. They look pretty messed up and live God for a long it. time, but they're still just people. The ones I'm talking about are different. The radiations rotted their brains, uh, made them feral. Nah, They'll rip you apart just it. as soon as look at you. Anyway, we figured Conquer would be a safe place to settle. Those raiders proved us wrong. But, well, we do have one idea. Let's hear it. Sturgis, tell him. There's a crashed vertebrate up on the roof. Old school, pre-war. You might have seen it. Well, looks like one of its passengers left behind a seriously sweet goodie. We're talking a full suit of cherry T-45 power armor. Military issue. That's some serious protection. Oh, it gets better. Get the suit. You can rip the minigun right off the vertibird. Do that, and those raiders get an express ticket to hell. You dig? Minigun. Now we're talking. I know, right? Only there's one hitch. The suit's out of juice. Probably been dry for a hundred years. It can be powered up again. But we're a bit stuck. I'll help if I can. What you'll need is an old pre-war FC, a standardized fusion core, your high-grade, long-term nuclear battery used by the military and some companies way back when. And we know right where to find one. But we can't get to the damn thing. It's down in the basement, locked behind a security gate. Look, I fix stuff. I tinker. Bypassing security ain't exactly my forte. You could give it a shot. Actually, I already grabbed the fusion core. We're set. Well, all right. Maybe our luck's finally turning around. Once you jack the core into the power armor and grab that minigun, those raiders will know they picked the wrong fight. Good luck. Cool. Get a fusion core. Done. You can actually get the fusion core in the nuclear waste cave behind the red rocket, which we already did. Also, don't miss the oh, no, perception perfect. bobblehead. Only through observation will you perceive weakness. Your perception has been permanently increased by one. If you didn't know, in the Fallout games, there are bobbleheads that permanently increase your stats, your special stats, which is pretty big. That's like if you're playing Dungeons and Dragons, you know, you're uh, increasing your, uh, what are they called? Your, your main attributes, whatever they're called, by one, you know, pretty big. You get those at certain level ups in Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, so yeah, make sure to get the bobbleheads. It's always fun hunting down the bobbleheads, especially early, because you get the most benefit from getting them early, obviously. Uh, hey, FYI, the link to your second YouTube channel from the command above doesn't work unless I'm doing something wrong. Is it GV official? Should be. Wait, oh, GV on YouTube? Uh, yeah, I'll change that in a second. I also have to check something. On the main YouTube channel as well. Thank you for pointing that out. Uh, okay, we got a holotape here. Uh, maybe we'll play the holotapes when we're actually like traveling around. Yeah, let's make a new save. Boop. And then I have to check two things real quick. One is did I do this correctly? Yes, I did. 
Good. But then I also have to check a setting. Yep. Okay, then let's go to Nightbot. Commands. Du -du -du. YouTube. My YouTube channels. Is this, yeah, is this incorrect? Du -du 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 -du. Uh, it is GV official. What? What did I change that from? That's super weird. Uh, da, 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 GV second channel should be this link. Yes, it was the wrong link. So there is the uh, correct links, uh, which uh, if you didn't hear me talk about yesterday... Uh, basically, I've condensed all the YouTube channels that I had, which was, like, a lot. Quite a lot. Uh, into three, because I just bit off way more than I could chew. So, uh, currently, uh, there's Grovana, the main channel. Let's Plays and Guides. Uh, especially with Maverick's, all this Fallout and other school stuff will go up there. Second channel, GV. All secondary Let's Plays. Basically, anything I feel like playing. There's a lot of good stuff there, because I did a lot of playthroughs recently that uh, I ended up really enjoying, especially The Room. Played through, like, The Room 3 and 4, really enjoyed it. Lots of other stuff as well. And then uh, GV and Chill, which is going to see all future VODs, Twitch VODs, edited, as well as long-form content like Persona 3 and 4 playthroughs. Basically just more chill, relaxed longer episodes of stuff so make sure to check that out if you haven't already okay these cars will explode right why is that car taking why is that truck taking forever to explode there we go do not want to be around when that happens okay let's reload this because something big and bad is about to appear okay let's reload again Come on, where are ya? I know you're coming. Oh my god, it's a death claw. I like that he strafes around, it's pretty cool. This is always actually kinda hard. It makes you use some stim packs, surprisingly, given how early this is. It's not like you can do too much to level up either. It's like the first thing that you can do. You gotta watch your HP on this weird... Oh my god. I don't want to use it... Uh, is that me dead? Press B, press B, press B, press B. Yeah, this, this, this Deathclaw fight is surprisingly difficult for how early it happens on normal difficulty. Uh, aid stim pack. Boop, boop. Good. Thought his health bar just refreshed all the way to full for a second. There we go. Okay. Deathclaw meet and hide. Clear conquered of hostiles. Good. Dead. Molotov. I guess we'll just take everything for now, but we really need to do some inventory management. Uh, where was the other dead guy? You okay? Oh. Stimpak dog? No. <laughs> I need the Stimpak, sorry. Um, you'll be fine. I don't think you can die. Oh, there's one more enemy. Okay, fine. I can't listen to that whimpering. Jesus. You're good. I have a bit of a heart, okay? Okay. Goodbye. Alrighty then. Report back to Preston Gravy. The Museum of Freedom. Uh, in the other, yes, you're locked out forever. Oh, you can go back to a terminal after 10 or 20 seconds. And follow oh, that's weird. I never even knew that. I, I never ever get hacked, get locked out of lock picks or lock picked locked doors. Or terminals, because I am very meticulous with that. You guys gonna be okay now? Yeah, 
for a while anyway. We can at least move some. What? Oh yeah, it cut off here in the YouTube episode too. You asked about the Minutemen. I think this is glitched. One thing you should know about us, we help out our friends. So here, for everything you've done, thank you. Fusion cell bottle cap. You're welcome. Anytime. Well, since you say that, maybe you'll come to Sanctuary with us. We could use your help getting settled there. All right, Garvey. I'm in. Oh, that's wonderful. But there's more to your destiny, isn't there? Oh, my God. I've seen it. And I know your pain. Literally my least favorite character in any Bethesda game ever of all time, and I'm not kidding, is this character right here. Uh, okay, I'm listening. You're a man out of time, out of hope, but all's not lost. I can feel your son's energy. He's alive. I'm listening. Look, kid. I know how I sound. The sight, it's weird. And it ain't always clear. But your son's out there. And even I don't need the sight to tell you where you should start looking. The great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Diamond City. The biggest settlement around. What's in Diamond City? Is Sean there? Look, kid. I'm tired now. Maybe you'll bring me some chems later. The sight will paint a clearer picture. No. Mama Murphy, we talked about this. That junk. It's gonna kill you. Ah, shush, Preston. We're all gonna die eventually. We're gonna need the sight. And our new friend here, he's gonna need it too. Now let's get going. Sanctuary awaits. All right, folks. Thanks to our friend here, it's safe to move out. We're heading for that place Mama Murphy knows about. Sanctuary. My sanctuary! Yeah, spoiler alert, we're not gonna need the sight. She's just a drug addict that we don't need. And she talks incredibly slow. And it's very annoying. I, I despise her character. I, I think it's just the slow talking more than anything. Hey, kid. Listen to me talk. Everything I say takes ten seconds to utter. It's like, ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Uh, unless it's GV's favorite Fallout 76, then just an hour? I'm forgetting what the hour is referencing. Just an hour for what? Sanctuary! Including the secret channels? Uh, yeah, everything... Basically, everything has been downloaded, re-uploaded to those three channels. Yes, and there is a potential for a fourth Patreon-exclusive channel, because I do want to make sure the you know five dollar and up patrons are taken care of because originally it was for you know all those secret channels basically <coughs> but yeah potential for a fourth probably not until after favorites obviously because we got our hands full with stuff uh but yeah everything else is on those three youtube channels power armor station transfer how does this work store all junk I don't want to store junk in the power armor station, though. Yeah, I, is there no way to hang the power armor on this thing? You literally have to, like, walk in front of it and get out. It's so weird. It's literally meant to, like, hang the power armor up. Okay, what do we do? Workshop. You can now use the workshop at Sanctuary Hills. Exit. Transfer. Store all junk. Good. Good. Now we gotta wait for everybody to come here, or we can just go to Diamond City. Jewel of the Commonwealth, go to Diamond City. Join Preston Garvey. I do like to do all this beginning stuff, just because you get a bunch of experience, and yet, you know, sanctuary start to be set up. Listen to Vault Tech Distress Signal, so that's new. Investigate Salgus Ironworks, so that's new. Pyromaniac, that's new. Find and kill Pyro, interesting. Trey Life, thank you so much for the five months of subscription to the channel. Thank you very much for the support. All Hallows Eve is new. Echoes of the Past is new. Speak of the Devil is new. Yeah, so this is really weird. There's like three new things added with the next-gen update, right? But then why do we have this many new quests? 
what I'm assuming is like some of these are related to just one pack or whatever out of the three. I don't know. Anyways, all of this is new content right here. So yeah, we do want to get all of this done. I have no idea what any of it entails. I have not seen anything. It's all blind for me. So that'll be interesting. Okay. Time to do these perks. Now I don't know what I want to do for the build. I was thinking there had to be an energy weapons perk. That's really weird. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I usually stay on the roof. Don't forget the death clock cave. Oh yeah, where the death clock comes out of. I forget what's in there. I always just give her drugs till she ODs. You love mama. What's the mama? Mama Murphy. That's her name. You know, if you're sarcastic with trash can Carla in your first dialogue, you get a permanent discount. I did not know that. The bobbleheads. Boom. God, my throat being so irritated is so annoying. Uh, welcome back, Jaden. Okay, what the heck do we want to do? Not strength, right? Iron fist. We're not going unarmed. We're not going melee. Been there, done that. Armor. I don't know, the mod. I mean, we could do a science mod sort of thing. I never really have ever bothered with the mods sort of situation. Yo, what's up, Stevie? Welcome in. Thanks for watching. Yeah, everybody keeps mentioning the new... Why is New Vegas the, the golden child of all my Fallout playthroughs? Because I feel like Fallout 1 is good. I feel like the current Fallout 300 percent is good. Everybody always mentions New Vegas. Not that I'm complaining. I'm just saying. So it's always like New Vegas that's mentioned. Armorer. Uh, yeah, don't want to do that. Blacksmith. What is this? Armor mod. Armor mod? It's boring. Melee weapon mod. That would have been cool for Thronk. Why didn't we do that? Heavy gunner. Would be interesting to do a heavy gun playthrough. It's just very unviable, at least in um, Fallout 3. Like, it's so difficult to do heavy guns. You just net, you just burn through ammo like crazy. Strong back, steady aim, hip accuracy, basher, gun bashing. Is that all this one is? Possibly cripples your opponent. Crippling your opponent. Inflict a critical hit. Interesting. Rooted. This one's weird. You're part tree. You get 25 DR. Your melee and unarmed attacks deal 25% more damage when you're standing still. Very weird because it's very fun to like run at enemies and like bash them with stuff. And like, yeah, that's what this one's for too, right? Choo choo all aboard while wearing power armor, sprinting into enemies hurts and staggers them. Yeah. Yeah, we'll just go through all of these. Not through all the different tiers, but through all these just to see what our options are. Pickpockets, boring. I don't. I basically don't ever pickpocket in these games. Although it is fun to reverse pickpocket, classic in like New Vegas. Riflemen, non-automatic rifles, twenty percent more damage. So that would be good for the musket, the laser musket. Uh, you view a target specific damage resistance. Doesn't even matter. This game's not that difficult to take into account resistances typically. Locksmith's always good. Demolition expert, craft explosives at a chemistry station, two to intelligence perception between the nighttime, 10 energy resistance, boring, can hold your breath longer, boring, target enemy body parts that are blocked by cover, what? Oh, because it like penetrates the, the uh, cover, interesting. Vats every attack of the same body part gains 10% accuracy. I always like that one, I think. Okay. 10 damage resistance. Boring. Lead belly. Boring. Instantly gain 20 maximum health. Meh. 50% uh, like, less likely to get addicted. I mean, if you're using chems periodically, you're going to get addicted, even if it's 50% less likely. Unless, what's the next tier do? Complete immunity. Now that's interesting for a chem playthrough. You'll never get addicted, so you can just use chems whenever you want. Maybe we make this a chem playthrough because I've never done a chem playthrough. I just don't really, I don't know. I, I just don't care much about like buffs. You know, the game's not that difficult to like need buffs a lot of the time. Aqua Boy's fun because you just can go anywhere in the water. Rad resistant, boring, adamantium skeleton. Cannibal, I don't think we're playing like a psychopath. Ghoulish radiation now regenerates health. <laughs> radiation now regenerates your lost health. 
Oh, j oh, but you still take radiation damage. Okay. Uh, two to strength endurance between the hours of 6 and 6 p.m. Okay. Uh, buying and selling are better. You're charming and dangerous. That is kind of funny for this, like, egghead character, but I don't know. Uh, I think we will get a companion, because I don't ever use companions. We'll switch it up. Giving you a greater chance to hit them in vats for the canine. Gain a chance to pacify animals. This is like the... This is like the... The building perk. What is it called? The settlement building line of perks. Chance you'll get addicted to alcohol. Uh, companion does more damage. Maybe we'll go down the companion tree. Although we didn't really take a lot of charisma. Uh, with your gun, aim, aim at any wasteland creature below your level. Get a chance to pacify it. Boring. Time to show everyone who's the boss. With your gun, aim at any human opponent below your level. Get a chance to pacify it. That's interesting. Okay, intelligence is our thing. Path to your closest quest. Gain two to perception. Yeah, the two to perception is pretty good. Can we get that now? No, you need level 36. The hell? Uh, medic. It's kind of boring. Rank one gun mods. Hacker. Scrapper. High tech mods. Chems you take. Yeah, maybe we do a chem. Because there's the chemist. Maybe we do the chem. Do a chem sort of build. Chemist and the other chem perk tree, whatever. Uh, robotics expert, I like too for this character. If you have anything to say about a hacker robot, gain a chance to power it on or off or initiate. So, yeah, that could be fun. Nuclear physicist, radiation weapons do 50% more damage. Where do you even get a radiation weapon, though? I don't even remember. You don't get those for like a long time, right? Nerd rage, oh. Yeah, that would be perfect for our character. When your health drops below 20%, time slows, you get 20 DR and do 20% more damage. But we can't get it yet. Okay, Gunslayer. Not automatic pistols. Automatic weapons. Sneak. Boring. You can instantly kill a sleeping person. Silenced weapons do 50% sneak attack damage. Action points regenerate. That's just good for anything. Moving targets. 25 DR, 25 ER. When you're sprinting. It's pretty weird. Range sneak attacks. This is the sneak tree. Reload all guns faster. That's nice. Vats melee distance is increased significantly. 25% more damage to your second Vats target and beyond. And then luck. More caps. That's good to take early, I guess. Scrounger. That's also good to take early. Bloody mess is a must for any build. And then all the rest of these. Okay, I guess we take the Rifleman. I like the idea of a single shot laser weapon, like the musket. It sounds fun. Attacks with non-automatic rifles do 20% more damage. Let's take that. And then... What else? What do we want for intelligence? Chems you take last 50% longer. Twice as long. 150% longer. I don't like when the trees just like they don't do anything interesting. It just like keeps stacking buffs on itself. I guess we'll take robotics expert. Yeah, we'll just take all the egghead scientist perks. Hack a robot, gain a chance to power it on or off or initiate a self-destruct. That is pretty big for uh, assault trods, which are hugely dangerous. Uh, those are some of the only genuinely scary enemies in this game. All right, so now we got to wait for everybody to get back over here. So we got to find a chair to sit down. I always hated this about Fall 4. Why did they switch it to you need to find a chair to wait? That's so weird. Okay, 12 hours will be... Yeah, we'll wait 13 hours. <clears throat> Anyone playing any major lords or bellwright manor? I have no idea what that is. Higher levels of ghoulish will allow you to not take radiation damage. Yeah, I figured that would be the case. Don't take ghoulish. I never took it because it's the worst. Don't worry, June. Just stay with me. It'll be fine. A chem build would be cool. Gamma gun from Children of Adam. Do you have to go into the Sea of Radiation to get the Children of Adam? Get to the Children of Adam, or is there a way to get that earlier? Hey, what's up? Preston Gravy. Hey, 
Good to see you again. I was hoping you'd show up. I should have listened to Mama Murphy all along. Pretty nice place she's found for us. I think we could settle down here. Make it a place to call home. What do you think? Uh, sure. I lived here. It's kind of weird. Yeah. I used to like living here. Before the war. What do you mean? Before what war? Are you saying... I lived here over 200 years ago. I was frozen or something for most of it. Just woke up a little while ago. Damn. Like one of those old pre-war ghouls. You say you were frozen. Anybody else make it out with you? My son. Somebody took him away while I was still trapped. I've been looking for him. Damn. I'm sorry. I hope you find him. Let me know if there's any way I can help. Anyway, I am glad you're here. And I hope you don't mind, but I've got another favor to ask. I've had word from a settlement asking for help. Really? They're still hoping there are Miniman out there somewhere. The only chance to start rebuilding the Miniman is to show people that they can count on us when they need us. Trouble is, I've got my hands full here. Do you think you could go help out with the settlement? Is there any reason that hats like that have the, like, folded up brim? You would think that's just, is it just a stylistic choice? It doesn't do anything to protect you from the sun's rays or anything, right? I'd be glad to help. That's fantastic. The men and men could use more people like you. By the way, if you want to help out around here at all, talk to Sturgis. I'm sure he'd be glad for all the help he can get. Cool. When freedom calls. Yeah, I think we'll do an egghead playthrough, a uh, scientist nerd, but maybe make him like a little too good with his chemistry set. You know what I'm saying? With with chems. That would be kind of interesting. He'd, be, he'd take like an intelligent approach to chemical addiction, knowing he can't get addicted to chems, but still wants to use the benefits. That could be cool. That'd be a good reason to See, do a chem well. playthrough, which I never, ever do without playing a typical like junkie type character, which is a little too obvious. Uh, you also want to get all the uh, melons and stuff back here because it'll help out later. And then I guess we will do the sanctuary stuff. Let's also level up again. Yeah, I guess we should just do the chem stuff now, huh? Get that going early. Uh, where was the other chem perk? There's another chem tree. Chem resistant, this one. All the rush without a hazard, fifty percent less likely to get addicted when consuming chems. Yeah, this plus this sounds pretty interesting. But for this, we need endurance four. So I guess we do endurance training, which just gets us up to that. Which I hate. I hate adding points to this because it's so boring. But sometimes you need to do it. Or we could have gone and found the uh, bobblehead. Although some of the bobbleheads are really, really, really difficult to get, especially early game. Uh, da, 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 jewel of the. Where's the talk to Sturgis thing? There it is. Do that one. Take that off. Add this. What up, Sturgis? You willing to do some work? I'd be glad to help. Just tell me what you need. Well, for starters, we could use some real beds. We've been sleeping on the ground for too long. Just make sure we can sleep with a roof over our heads. Some of these old houses still look solid enough to do the trick. There's a workbench over there you can use. Give me a holler if you need anything. Will do. Uh, fun fact, Sturges is, I believe, a secret uh, synth, uh, which we haven't really gotten into into the game. Yeah, we should also recap what's happened in the story. But uh, yeah, synths play a large part uh, in this video game. Because they are synthetic people, like androids, basically. Highly advanced androids. Honestly, a little too highly advanced. Like, I'm like, can they really do that? In this, uh, in this, uh... In the, at, at this point, with scientific advance... I guess you could argue the Institute could, for sure. I mean, they are pretty, pretty dang advanced. But anyways, yeah, I think uh, Sturgis is a secret uh, synth. He doesn't even realize it, because he's got... Anybody that has a uh, synthetic... A synth component on their person, which if you kill Sturgis, you will have a synth component. I forget what it's called. They're like a confirmed synth, which is pretty interesting. 
All right, time to scrap the whole neighborhood. This is a bit of a process, but uh, you get a lot of materials. A lot of people don't like this mechanic in the game, the uh, settlement building. I think it's pretty cool. I mean, I definitely was not into it my first time playing this game. But um, nowadays, I don't know. It's kind of fun. It's it's interesting. It adds a, adds a different layer. I think Fallout 4 is fleshed out enough that they could have added this... Uh, this so this whole settlement building thing and not and not have me go well they should have put extra time into this area of the game or something like honestly it's pretty pretty interesting so now's a good time to catch up with the chat especially if i missed anything feel free to retype it because we got to do a whole lot of scrapping uh i do max out lead belly because i never take radiation damage from food that it has some people say it's bad when you max out lead belly but it's not in my opinion, because you're just... People play differently. I am somebody that just plays very meticulously in terms of, like, I don't ever want radiation if I can avoid it, so I never have ever done food. Except for, like, obviously, like, Fallout, New Vegas, survival mode. This has a survival mode. Wait, didn't they add a survival mode for this? I don't know. Anyways. Unless you have to consume food, I don't ever consume food or drink because I just don't want to deal with the radiation, basically. Which, you know, you could say Lead Belly is for, but I find personally Lead Belly to be a bit of a waste, at least on the base level perk. Uh, I do like Aqua Boy, though, because Aqua Boy... I don't even know if there's really anything to find in the ocean, really. But uh, you never have to take radiation damage from swimming around in the ocean, which is nice. Uh, yeah, let's get rid of everything, because I don't like anything that looks like trash, basically. Uh, welcome back, Kodami. What did I miss? That is a good question to answer once we recap the story. Which we'll probably do when I reach the bottom of the chat. What's your character named, GV? Because I missed out for the beginning parts because I was doing college classwork. Uh, our character is named... Uh, Smythe. Uh, S-M-Y-T-H-E. It just came to me. Just head northeast and you'll find where their outposts in that direction. Yeah, maybe we'll do. I don't know. I, I want to have. I want to have like an interesting build. Um, with a fun weapon, especially like if there's a fun, interesting, unique weapon we can eventually get. Uh, would be cool. So I don't know. Uh, I guess we'll stick with the laser musket for now, and then maybe upgrade to something more interesting. But yeah, maybe we'll do radiation weapons, because I don't think I've ever done radiation weapons. Ever, ever. That'll be kind of interesting to try out. What's that? Mailbox. Mailbox. Ruined house? But the house is not even ruined. Oh my god, there's so much stuff to scrap. Wish there was just like a button that's like, scrap all junk in the neighborhood? Yes. Okay, cool. But you gotta go through bit by bit. Um, I say my baby boy to Preston. Okay, make sure to get rid of all the ruin houses. Is there, is there a rad roach here? I'm in the middle of a building! You can't attack me! What the hell? What is... Oh, I still have the minigun. Wait, what? You keep the mini... I thought, I thought the minigun goes back to the... Uh, that goes back to the, uh... Wait, what? Short laser musket. What is happening? I'm pressing... Right on the D-pad, where it has the short laser musket. I'm pressing A, and it's not switching to it. It says hold back to go to the... What is going on? Inventory. Weapons. Not you. Where is my short laser musket favorite? It's there. No. Why is it switching? It's like bugging out or something. Okay. Use this. Thank you. Now, where are you? Did you get him? Okay. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. <clears throat> Just started playing this again, too. LOL trying mods for the first time. Really fun so far. Yeah, like I said, Fallout 4 is uh, it's a good game. I think it definitely is a game that has been more appreciated over time, for sure. Because it was, you know, it's very different from Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas. It's 
obviously a step up in mechanics and graphics and everything and how the game feels and how the game looks. But uh, yeah, it's a, it's a good game. It's definitely a very good Fallout. It's just, you know, it's Bethesda, so they take a lot out of the wackiness and craziness and trash can. And they kind of do their own thing a little bit and change a bunch of stuff. And I obviously hate the dialogue system, as I've mentioned many times in the past. <clears throat> and I think I remember reading pinning hats was so that when they had their rifles resting on their shoulder, oh, uh, it didn't push their hat off. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. I figured, I, yeah, I saw that and I was like, there's got to be a reason. Preston doesn't seem the type to like just do that just because it looks cool. So that makes sense. Interesting. Uh, Sam and Lowell feels like a waste of a perk point, almost. Yeah, a lot of them definitely just feel like wastes. There's there's far better options a lot of the time. Okay, you're good. Cooking station? I guess we'll get rid of that. I'm not going to go through every single thing, but I just want to make it a little bit presentable. When I get the Minuteman General outfit, I give it a press because I prefer wearing armored army suit with heavy combat armor with deep pocket and recon marine helmet for Far Harbor. From Far Harbor. Uh, spoilers, LOL. Did I spoil something? I, I usually am pretty good with not spoiling things. I actually like this mechanic, but not in 76. Yeah, 76 is weird because you obviously have to stick with, like, your camp area or whatever. A lot different. If someone is worried about spoilers fall for, like, eight years after it came out, then they should know not to watch streamers play it. I'm not even sure what I spoiled. Did I say a spoiler? I usually don't spoil anything if I don't have to. I'm usually pretty good with that, so I'm surprised I said something. Okay, how are we looking? Really hate when the Twitch ad gets in the way. Yeah, if it's too much, I might change it. I think I tried changing the ad amount of ads in the past, but I kept it on the default or whatever. It's definitely not ramped up to, like, have more ads than usual. So, I don't know. If it's too much, let me know. If a lot of people tell me it's too many ads, uh, I might try to reduce the amount. But I have in the past, and I feel like I either couldn't or, I don't know, something weird. Because 76, I can't store all junk in my camp because it has inventory weight for the junk. Oh my god, there's so much trash everywhere. It's almost like it's a wasteland. Okay, how are we looking? Everything cleared out for the most part. Guess we're getting rid of all the stop signs and everything. Trying to make a ghoul-like build, getting stuff like cannibal and the cannibal and the perk that heals you when you get rad and stuff like that. Yeah, if only we could be a ghoul. I'm still not sure why that's... I'm really hoping that's a thing in Fallout 5. Super Mutant. Ghoul class. They just need new classes. Like, why not? Get weird with it. That would be so much more fun and interesting. Just a human... I mean, Fallout definitely has, like, a style to it. Where it's, like, you know, Americana. Playing as, like, a vault dweller or lone wanderer or something. But, yeah, ghoul, super mutant, new type of crab people or something. I mean, I guess you could play as, like, a Mirelurk king or something if you really wanted to. Get real freaky with it, I say. And then add a lot of perks for those types of races. That would be super cool. A mod that does it automatically. Okay, let's get rid of these trees and make it nice and open. What the heck? All right, that's probably good enough. Let's get rid of the trash on the floor, though. Oh, let's get rid of all this, too. Uh, in Fallout 4, I like they added the Myler Queen, because in Fallout 3, we never know how they were made. All we know is there was a hunter, a king, and a Myler. No queen, but I know Myler are more different than between 3 and 4 because of crabs and lobsters. Oh, my throat! Gosh, dang it. I've been, like, cleaning the house a lot, and I think there's just, like, dust particles everywhere. Uh, yeah, My Alert Queen, super cool. Very, um, memorable moment when that's introduced. Okay, how are we looking? Good. There's always, like, one more thing to clean up. I think we're good for the most part. Can go in and do this, like, off-camera more detailed. Just want to get rid of all the trash. Bottles. 
Oh! Store Gwinnett? No. Just delete it. Gwinnett? Br okay, you stay in there, I guess. Forgot there are rad roaches in the sediment of Sanctuary. There's one near the cooking station. I mean, I thought I'd kill them all, but obviously not. Okay, now we're ready. Let's catch up with the chat, and then we'll do some building. Uh, you still uploading this to YouTube or no? Yes, everything this month that is related to my main channel will be downloaded after I stream it, edited, rendered, re-uploaded to the main YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Grovana. Uh, the upload schedule will most likely be the day after when the stream ends. So for instance, this video will probably go up tomorrow around 2 p.m. Mountain Time. But yeah, everything's getting uploaded to YouTube that is related to what I do on my main channel, pretty much. I don't know if you ever played Borderlands, but I compare Fallout 3 New Vegas to Borderlands 2 and Fallout 4 to Borderlands 3. Uh, yeah, I, be, uh, I did everything in Borderlands 2, I think, and then I beat Borderlands 3 when it came out. Both really good games in different ways. Uh, I mean, there's similarities, I guess, you know, the whole Wasteland thing, I guess, but... Ultimately, for me, Borderlands is it's entirely it's a separate entity. There's, there's not really any game like Borderlands. Uh, at least at the time, Borderlands 2 came out, which is why it was so incredibly popular. But yeah, I was a big fan of Borderlands back in the day. Uh, nowadays, eh, I'm not sure if the humor holds up for me. It's kind of just a lot of crazy screaming, you know, which gets old. But, yeah, I, I played the crap out of Borderlands 2 and 3, especially 2. GV and Fallout 4, me and my old man, we hated that there's no karma system because we like the consequences we made. Yeah, can you really... There's not really any Megaton-type choices, is there? Or am I forgetting? Eh, there's some. I'm thinking of the Cabot House quest line. But yeah, ultimately, yeah, I mean, that's my biggest issue with Fallout 4 for sure is that you're basically forced to be either a sarcastic asshole but still a good guy or just a good guy. Which completely goes against the nature of Fallout in general. Where obviously you can choose to embrace the wasteland, give no F's attitude, or be a beacon of hope. Yeah, it's really unfortunate. I don't know why Bethesda always chooses to dumb down things in that nature. Because you make RPGs, why not let the player, you know, role play? It's kind of weird, but tis what it is. Uh, Fallout 3. Four, Borderlands 3 have better mechanics for sure. Gunplay and movement, but Fallout. New Vegas, Borderlands 2 have better stories and dialogue. Said the thing about Surges, but I was joking. Oh, well, yeah, I said the thing about Surges because, I mean, it's not really a spoiler. If you killed him right now and looted his body, you would see the Android component. You know what I mean? So, just a lot of people are going to never know that. That's why I mentioned it. Is there a delay? There shouldn't be. Uh, I'm just, there's a lot of chat today, so I'm trying to basically catch up with all of it. What's got like five ads at once? Damn. By the way, GV Baby, I missed it, but have you seen the Fallout show? Uh, yeah, we talked about it yesterday uh, at length. I have seen the first two episodes. Basically, I'm just way too into the Sopranos right now. I'm literally like on the final. I'm literally like at the final four or five episodes of the Sopranos. So I'm basically waiting to finish that before I deep dive into Fallout. But yeah, I've seen the first two episodes. Uh, love all the vault stuff. The Brotherhood stuff is easily my least favorite part. I do not like Maximus. I'm not sure if you're supposed to dislike Maximus. Also, which house should we make the Settler's house? I guess we'll do this one. I'm not sure if you're supposed to dislike Maximus or not, because he's kind of pathetic and holier than thou. But yeah, he's definitely my least favorite part. And also... Um, also, uh, the Brotherhood part is my least favorite part by far. Uh, the scientist stuff is interesting. The ghoul is obviously the ghoul, so he's just your typical super cool character who is badass as heck. Yeah, I like everything. The Brotherhood stuff is the weakest part so far for me just because it's pretty cliche military type things. Uh, but yeah, I've only seen the first two episodes. Um, I, I enjoy everything. I, my favorite part is definitely the vault stuff. I think they did the vault stuff perfectly. My least favorite, like my biggest nitpick is 
the teleporting, how all the characters just kind of like show up next to each other or find each other in this wasteland. Somebody said the wasteland is supposed to be like a 10 mile radius only. I, I don't know if that was a joke or if that's like true canonically. If it's true, okay, I guess fair enough. They they find each other. I mean, it's California. What? How is it 10 miles? I, I don't know. Anyways, yeah, that's my biggest nitpick is just like, you know, the character's just like, oh, hey, it's another main character. How's it going? And it's like, really? Like, why are they just finding each other in this vast wasteland? Um, but other than that, yeah, I like everything with the with the highlight being the vault stuff. That was done perfectly. Uh, yeah, you could tell whoever whoever was in charge of the vault segments were uh, definitely extremely knowledgeable uh, with uh, what goes on with vault tech and all of that. Oh my god, you can get rid of everything. Jesus. Okay, let's put some sleeping bags in here. Uh, if I miss any chat, just repost it. Chats, there's too much chat right now to, like, keep the game going and also talk to everybody. So, yeah, if I miss anything, feel free to repost it. I, I, I don't ever mind. I, I enjoy conversation a lot on my streams. I don't ever feel bad about asking me the same questions or whatever if I haven't gotten to it. Uh, let's see. Where is it? I always, this menu is so weird. Furniture, beds, and then we can give them some nice beds, I guess. Yeah, we'll just, we'll make this just the, the bunkhouse, basically. Okay, bed number one. It's a must in Skyrim. <coughs> Cannibal is the worst perk in Fallout 4 because your companions hate when you eat a human expect, except one of them, but I won't say because his name is spoiling. I think I know which one that is. He's a very interesting companion, that's for sure. Uh, yeah, what, I, I was gonna go for a full evil playthrough, but again, it's like, this and in Skyrim, it's like, how do you even, how do you even roleplay that? You have to take the perks for it, and you have to, I guess, travel with, yeah, that specific companion, who's not even evil, and is also voiced by Sean Schemmel, who voices Goku, which is pretty crazy. Um, pretty neat, actually. Okay, one more, right? And, boop. Good. Talk to Sturgis. Sturgs. Dog meat loves you, you heard. I didn't mean the games are similar. I meant the companion comparison to Borderlands 2 to Borderlands. Oh, gotcha. It's similar to the comparison of New Vegas to 4. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you now. I was going to say, I was like, Borderlands is kind of completely different in style of game. But. Sturgis. Uh, I'm glad you're uploading the streams to YouTube as I've got a lot going on today and have to keep digging in and out. I know what I'm doing during the afternoon this weekend, though. Yeah. Um, I like it. Ideally, a place to sleep will improve everyone's spirits. moving for, you know, now, like I said, ideally we have a really good month of content and I can turn some of that into YouTube content because I'm not going to have as much time to make YouTube videos this month, obviously. I'm on it. Clean water. So far, so good. Only day two of 31 days, obviously, but so far I'm pretty happy with uh, the content thus far. Okay, what do we need to do? Make some faucets or whatever. Uh, this and then quests. Provide clean water for sanctuary settlers. My sanctuary! My sanctuary! Borderlands crazy screaming. Mr. Torg will always be one of my favorite characters. Okay, so I actually like Mr. Torg. I guess what, I'm, what I mean is like... Okay, where's this freaking stuff? Power, defense, resources, right? And then water, and then water pumps, yeah? Yeah, we'll go with the cheapest stuff for now, because I don't want to spend the good stuff. Um, yeah, I actually like Mr. Tor, because he's voiced by the guy that does Mr. Satan in Dragon Ball Z, which I love. I, I hate Mr. Satan, but I love his voice. His voice is so good. He's such a good voice actor. So I actually do like Mr. Torg, and obviously he's perfect for Borderlands. But I'm just thinking about like all the psycho characters and everybody that's just always like, ah, I put a gun on my butt and I shit out bullets. Just constantly things like that, which I loved when the game first came out. But now I feel like I would just be like, okay, I, yeah, I get it. Butt stally. I just feel like a lot of that humor would not translate to modern, to, to people that have started with the series young and then grew up. You know what I mean? I just feel like, but maybe I'm wrong. I mean, I have not played Borderlands since Borderlands 3 came out. And I did like Borderlands 3. I thought it was, it was very fun. Like, the Borderlands games are just fun. They're, they're super fun looter shooters. And they kind of invented the genre, right? Pretty much. 
I just don't know if I would. I feel like there would be a lot of eye rolling if I went back to Borderlands 2 with the dialogue. I would just would be like, oh my god, shut up. But I do like Mr. Tor. He was great. He, he was introduced in a DLC, hey, right? Which I remember I better already. No, realizing it was Mr. Satan going, oh my god! I hope you don't mind me asking for some more help, but our food supplies are running low. If we're gonna settle here, we'll need to get some crops established. <sighs> yeah, I'm way behind on chat. I'm trying to keep the game going. Because we're uploading this to YouTube. If I wasn't uploading this to YouTube, I wouldn't care. But if I just talked to the chat the entire video, you people on YouTube are going to scream down my throat, which they have in the past. I'll start planting right away. Good deal. Which you could say, well, then, you know, why do you care? Just do it anyways. But I want to make, if I'm uploading this to YouTube, I want it to be, you know, I want to progress on some level. But yes, I'm way behind on chat. I'm trying to, you know, keep caught up with it. Okay, provide food for sanctuary settlers. Why are we already at 30%? That's kind of weird. We got to plant some melons. Bro, I wish there was a different button to open up the workshop menu. It takes forever to like hold back and open this thing up. This person cannot be command. No, I'm trying to open up the food menu. Okay, we got a gourd. Uh, I also hate Maximus. Dude sucks. Okay, I'm glad because like I know, like I said, I'm not sure. I don't know what they're going for, um, because, like I said, he's kind of pathetic, and he's holier than thou, which is not a good combination for, like, a likable character. But I, I wasn't sure if, like, you know, maybe that's maybe that's where he starts and he evolves over time, or maybe there's a reason for that. I don't know. I'm only on episode two, so I was just kind of holding my breath. I was like, okay, maybe there's a point to this character that I'm not seeing yet. But yeah, the main character, girl from, I don't even remember her name, but Ella Purnell plays her uh, from the Fallout show. Uh, extremely perfect casting. Like like I said, the only thing is she's distractingly attractive, but again, it kind of works because she's a vault dweller. Kind of makes sense a little bit, I guess. Uh, whereas everybody else is, you know, in the wasteland and looks all kinds of effed up. Uh, do we got to go and find food now? Do we not have enough this time? Okay, that's fine, because this takes us to a farm, doesn't it? The first step, talk to the settlers at Ten Pines Bluff. I believe, yeah, that's a farm, right? So we should be able to get some more food. I feel like you're usually able to complete this, but... Uh, but yeah, I love the main character, the Vault Dweller, whatever her name is, I don't even remember. Uh, ben Linus, Ralph Emerson from Lost, uh, the, the scientist guy... It's so weird seeing him play a like a nice character because he is so sadistic. I mean, not I guess sadistic's the wrong word. He is extremely conniving. What's the what's a word for like having secret plans? Whatever that word is. He he's extremely conniving in a uh, Lost, which is how I know Ralph Emerson. What I know him from. And then yeah, Maximus is definitely my least favorite character. The ghoul is great. Walton Goggins is great. My only thing is, like like I said, he's almost like... I guess whenever there's like a badass character, she's like, okay, this is going to be the badass character. No one's going to be able to touch him. He's going to know everything. He's going to like... He's going to be OP, I guess, is, is my, my thing. But I love Walton Goggins, so... Whatever. It's fine. But obviously super badass. Super kills everybody in Philly with like, you know, one gun. <clears throat> but yeah. Show's great. Um, she don't like teleporting. GV, I wasn't expecting the new show to be good, but genuinely the series gets so good in the ghoul and backstory of before the war gets cool, you should watch it all. I definitely am. Like I said, I'm just, I'm in the, I'm at the very end of the Sopranos, which I am fully invested in. So I, I, I like to finish one thing before I start to, I don't like having too many irons on the, what's the term? Having too many irons on the stove or whatever. Too many irons on the anvil. I like to mentally be connected with one piece of media, then move on to the next thing. You know what I mean? So, bad to finish The Sopranos. Might finish it tonight, and then I will, yeah, binge the Fallout show to its completion and see how it feels. But, yeah, I mean, it's extremely good. It's definitely, I would say, probably... there. There's a, What is the other... There's, like, another really good game adaptation that recently came out, right? What was it? I'm forgetting. What was another really good... Uh, the only thing I'm thinking of is Cyberpunk Edge Runners, but that's been out for forever now. 
And that was, yeah, that was fantastic, man. That was surprisingly good. But that's also like an anime, so it's different. But anyways, yeah, it's probably the best video game adaptation I have seen to date so far, which is pretty crazy because it's only on episode two. La oh, Last of Us, yes, which I have not seen, actually. Uh, yeah, Last of Us is what I'm thinking of, which is why my brain had a hard time remembering because I haven't actually watched it yet. But we will watch it. That's obviously just on the back burner right now. Uh, because, like, I feel like it's just going to go over the same story. It's probably extremely well done. It's just, like, it's just the same story as the game, right? Which I've played. So it's, it, it was never, like, a huge priority for me because I'm just like, okay, well, it's going to be a revisioning of the game, right? <clears throat> really liked Fall 4, so I feel like I'm yapping. No, you, no, you guys don't ever. I love conversation. It makes streams go way, way, way easier. I just... Sometimes when there's a lot of chat and also I need to keep the game going, it's a little tricky. That's all I'm trying to say. Uh, the more chat, the better. Trust me. You guys make my job way easier if there's chat versus no chat. What do you want? We don't need any more trouble around here. Uh, I'm here to help. Take it easy. I'm with the Minutemen. I'm here to help. You're with the Minutemen? I didn't really think you fellas still existed. Yeah, well, we, we do. We sent word with one of them passing traders, but honestly, I never expected anything to come of it. Most people don't put much stock in the Minutemen these days after Quincy. Bad business, that. What? There's some other thing where, like, they kept saying that after everything. What was that? Was it Cyberpunk? Maybe it was Cyberpunk. There was, like, some thing I watched or something a while ago where, like, after every sentence they said that. No, 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 that. I feel like it was Cyberpunk. Uh, yeah. We're rebuilding the Minutemen from the ground up. We're the good guys. Again. We're the good Glad guys. No question that things have been worse since the Minutemen fell to pieces. All right, There's enough with the Minutemen falling to pieces. We're trying our best, okay? Food and supplies, Jesus. Threatening to kill us Jesus. all if we don't pony up. We know where they're coming from, but we can't go up against a gang like that. Don't worry. I'll take care of those raiders for you. Thanks, friend. If you folks are for real this time, it'll be a welcome change for the better. Freaking Corvega? They sent you to Corvega? Right at the start of this? Are you serious? That's like such a Hope you ain't one of them big dungeon you have to deal with. Okay, I'm going to take all your food. Hope you guys don't mind. Got to do some planting, you see. Hate him because he's the worst for that female companion you will meet later when you go. Yeah, sorry. Chat's kind of going a little fast. Some of these messages are getting cut, cut off. And like I said, I don't want to alt tab. Because there's always a chance a Bethesda game will crash. Okay, we should be good to plant these, I think. You can plant you can plant potatoes, right? I think so. Settlement near sanctuary called Abernathy. Yep. That's uh yeah, that's another early game destination. What's up, Team Mystic? Welcome in. You can never not see him as Ben LMFAO. Yeah, uh, Ralph Emerson. Yeah, if you if you grew up watching Lost, or for me grew up because I was young when that show came out. Uh, which, yeah, Lost is weird, man, just as a side note. I feel like if I went back and watched Lost right now, I would hate it. I, I feel like it would be so, like, very soap opera-ish. But uh, I love Lost when it was coming out. I think I was the right age for it. Because I didn't think, like, too critically about the acting and the storylines and how a lot of stuff never gets, like, finished. Or, you know, a lot of stuff never gets resolved and lost they're just mysteries for the sake of being mysteries okay do we do it wait do these not count as food no it does okay good uh more tatoes but yeah ben uh, is a very memorable character in lost which i won't spoil if anybody watches it but the guy who plays the scientist in the fallout show plays a very 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 important character in uh in Lost, who's extremely, there's a better word for it, but like conniving, basically. Um, but not in like a petty way. He's conniving in a very, you just got to watch the show, If basically. He's a very unique character, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, kill the Raiders. Nope. Talk to Sturgs. Where you at, Sturgs? Uh, shady, LOL. Yeah, but even that's the wrong word. Like, he's... He has motivations for why he is conniving, is what I'm trying to say, I guess. Well, this place is starting to feel like home. Now that Irons in the fire, food, there you go. I think we can really make a go with it. Yeah, I was thinking of the Last of is, Us, which I still need to watch. We establish ourselves here, the more of a target. Knuckles? Well, is, is that even good? Are the Sonic movies good? I feel like people like them because they're just fans of Sonic. A little bit. 
but they just look so bad. Are the Sonic films actually good on any level? Maybe Knuckles is better or Sonic 2 or whatever the hell. Wait, is Knuckles a show? Because it was called Sonic 2, right? Where they introduced Knuckles. I don't know. I'm out of the loop. I haven't seen any of those movies. Uh, I'm on it. I'm on it. Ah, thanks. It'll make everyone feel more secure here. Okay, gotta build some turrets. Right? Two turrets, I think. Build defenses for sanctuary. My sanctuary! Let's also wait till it's daytime so we can actually see. Mario movie. Mario movie was fun. Um, it was nothing like... It was basically exactly what you would expect from... What's that studio that does the Minions movie? Minions movies. Immersion? Something like Immersion or something with an I. Anyways... It's exactly the type of movie you would expect from that studio, which, you know, was good. I, I think I, I enjoyed it. It was fun, but it's obviously meant for kind of like, I think, a little more casual fans, I guess, of Mario. Not that Mario has super deep lore or anything, obviously. Need Kingdom Hearts for everyone, LOL. Um, I hate Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> I'm trying to be nicer in this day and age when people talk about stuff they like. I'm like, okay, everybody has their opinions, blah, blah, blah. I actually hate, I'm a, I'm a huge hater of Kingdom Hearts. I think it's probably one of the biggest, one of the biggest franchises that is not deserving of its popularity to ever exist. But that being said, there's two stipulations to that. A, had I grown up with it? Because I never grew up with PlayStation 1 or 2 really, so I didn't grow up with uh, Kingdom Hearts. Had I grown up with it, I bet I would be completely on the opposite end and love it to death, because I'm because i a huge fan of Final Fantasy, but I grew up with Final Fantasy. Uh, defense. Okay, we need a guard post, then we rotate it. And then number two, the music is fantastic. I will, I will give, I will give uh, Kingdom Hearts that. The music is fantastic, and had I grown up with it, I would have probably been in love with it as a series. But unfortunately, I got into it late in the game. I need that game. I'll be putting in so many hours into that game. You restart. Yeah, we restarted the playthrough just because I, I wanted a different build. And I I, wa I didn't like the design of the character I made. He just looked like a prison inmate or something. Okay, so put a guard post there. Then we have to assign somebody to it, right? One of these normies over here. Uh, I hear rumors... Of a TV show or movie, apparently in the game coming out is 2025, but I need an update trailer. Wait, what? Rumors of a TV show or movie and apparently the game... Wait, what game? Okay, you... Oh my god, you have to hold back for like 10 years! Okay, you... Go over to this. I said sarcastic to you, those settlers say... And if I say I told you I was with the Minutemen, would you still want to shoot me? Provide, provide food, provide food, provide, what is happening? Completed build, oh, you only have to build one of these? Store guard, no, what? Do we do it? I thought you had to build two of these. Talk to Sturge, provide food? I already provided food, what? This freaking quest is so weird. Okay, what's up? <clears throat> no, not you, why am I talking to you? Wait, what, what is happening? Why is it having quest markers lead to these random people? <coughs> I guess they ate the food or something, and now I need to plant more. I don't know what's going on. Anyways, can I finish this quest? Let's trade. Let's trade. Can it wait? What is going on? I'd like to trade some items. Most people are good at breaking things. I enjoy putting them back together. Uh, I am very confused. What is happening? Talk to Sturges, provide food for Sanctuary Settlers, which is already completed. What the hell? Okay, I guess I'll just plant more tato plant. I have no idea what's going on. This is super weird. Boo -doo 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 -doo. Food, 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 resources, food, tato, gourd. Tato plant. Assign someone to the crops? Oh, because I assigned her and she was farming. Yeah, I really wish this whole menu was like done better. It's just so so weird. Okay, you? 
Wait, how do I... Command. Oh, that makes... Okay, I've never done that. I didn't even realize you had to assign someone to, like, food. It's so weird. Okay, so now the food's good. And now I need to assign somebody else to the defense post. So who is not doing anything? Mama Mercy, right? Or Mama Murphy. She does nothing except wants drugs. All right, you come with me. And uh, conniving and manipulative. Very manipulative, yeah. Very manipulative. Like the Sonic games, but I prefer Sonic EXE. Classic. Scary. Scary game! Mario movie was kind of forgettable. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like, it, it didn't break any ground. They could have done so much more with it to make it, like, you know, kind of unique. But it was good. I mean, for what it was, like, I have no complaints. It was, yeah. It was a fun Mario movie with a lot of little... Very visually stimulating with tons of, like, Mario references. You know, it's cool. I just, yeah, it wasn't, like, groundbreaking by any means. Yo. Hey, Sturgis. That'll help make everyone feel a little more secure. Thanks. It's been a long road. But yeah, I think this is it. Home. Who's Care to gone? elaborate on what, the Kingdom Hearts? I was glad to help. Well, I appreciate it. Of course, you know you're welcome anytime. My door's always open to you. Windows too. Some of the walls actually come to think of it. I guess I better get back to it. Take care now. Okay. Completed my sanctuary. We've done it. Yay, the most interesting quest in the game. Ba ba da. Uh, I guess we should get hacker. Shrink one high. I mean, it'd be cool to do high tech mods. But I gotta, I gotta get these these chem things going so we can have a fun, interesting playthrough. We'll be a drug addict. Although not really, because we can't get addicted to drugs, funnily enough. All the rush without the hassle, you're 50% less likely to get addicted when consuming chems. But then we gotta get the next perk, though. Gotta be level 20. Yeah, that's my only issue with some of these, like, uh, perks in the perk trees. You gotta be, you gotta level up so high to get some of, like, ones that don't even matter that much. Kill the raiders in Corvega. Okay, I guess we'll do that. That's uh, going to be tricky at our current level, but we should be fine. Let's go. I'm actually really curious because no one, not many people like hate Kingdom Hearts. All Square Enix OSTs are bangers. True, yeah. Yeah, basically, I mean, I don't know. I grew up, so I had a PlayStation way late in the game, but I only played like a handful of games in Final Fantasy. That's how I got into Final Fantasy, which I was huge on. Loved Final Fantasy. I never played Kingdom Hearts, though, really. And then by the time that I did play Kingdom Hearts 1, which I 100%ed, should we go here? Museum? Of, yeah. Uh, I don't know. It just felt like a watered down. It felt like a watered down. Final Fantasy, and I didn't... The controls and everything, I was so used to more modern stuff that, like, you know, it felt so clunky, especially the jumping. I remember Sora just jumps like... <gasps> he's so floaty. Um, but that was because I was, you know, 100%ing Kingdom Hearts 1 way after it came out. And then Kingdom Hearts 2, which I guess is the one everybody loves to death. Like, when it came out, it was very, very big. And to be, to be fair, it did improve quite a lot. I remember it was a huge jump... In quality from Kingdom Hearts 1 to 2. Uh, but I kind of just ran through it. I wasn't like too big on it. Um, but I can see, you know, for the time. Yeah, I understand like it was a big jump. And I'm sure it was everybody's, you know, dream game. And a huge jump up from the Kingdom Hearts 1 mechanics. And then Kingdom Hearts 3 came out. And I 100%ed it as well. So I did 100% 1 and 3. And uh, yeah, I, I guess I just, I have a big hatred for we the story. Handle. Okay, we gotta pause and catch up with the chat. I'm missing so much chat. Holy crap. Let's take a little break here. Uh, Sonic Adventure, whatever that one on the GameCube was. Sonic Adventure DX2 Battle Director's Cut. Whatever the hell. Whatever the hell that title was. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Vault Boy. You stop waving that gun in my face. Or it's gonna involve me. Okay, okay, just take it easy. Wolfgang. We'll lower our weapons, alright? Just don't do anything crazy. Maybe I will do something crazy. Demand money. What's going on here? That's a simple business dispute. Got it? Trudy's sitting on a pile of goods that she owes me. I tried reasoning with her. But it looks like I gotta take what's mine by force. Wanna make some easy money? Help me out. I could use another gun. Or maybe you think you can talk some sense into her. I'll talk to her. 
Maybe we can work this out. I appreciate it. If things go sideways, we'll back you up. Yeah, probably not gonna back up the clearly mean man in this situation. Also, isn't isn't his friend that chick over there? Isn't she like extremely rude? I feel like. What's up? Hi. I saw you in that poison cellar talking. Poison well, cellar. He ain't getting his money. Oh yeah, her son's like addicted to caps, right? Threaten her end peacefully. Look, you owe the money. If you just pay them, then this will be over. Everyone walks away without getting hurt. Yeah, what is going on with her skin? <laughs> I just, yeah, what Cindy said earlier. Her skin's really weird looking. Well, um, no or yeah. I mean, I don't really want to get involved, honestly. And why should I help you? Look, this place might not look it, but caravans come through here, okay? I have supplies. You help me, we can trade for whatever you need. Uh, I mean, I don't, I don't know these people well enough to choose a side, but sure. All right, Trudy, I'll get rid of him. Thank you. I'll back you up from here. Go get him. Oh, are we not? Are we out of the talking thing? Oh, okay. We just got to kill him now. What's up, Simone? Raven Simone from that hit show, TV's That's So Raven. What a funny joke I just said. Huh? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna shoot you in the face with uh, lasers. That's go. Oh my god! Dog meat! Jesus Christ! Oh, she's dead! For the love of God. Boop. Bum, 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 bum. Talk to Trudy. What do you got? Thank you. We gotta find a cellar. Oh yeah, we just did. Cool. Okay, we gotta do some inventory management. Hello. I did it. <clears throat> <laughs> I can't wait to see the crows feeding on that scumbag. Jesus. Here. This is for you. Now, if you ever need to trade, my shop's open. 100 bottle caps? Cool. Uh. Okay, I'm gonna walk away for now. Let's catch up with the chat. We gotta do some inventory management. Okay, let's do some inventory management. Inventory management. Uh. 10 millimeter pistol. On favorite. Yeah, this is like glitched out. It thinks it's favorited, but it's not favorited. And when I try to pick the musket, it chooses this. So how do I like fix this? Take this off. There, okay. Uh, so yeah, I guess uh, we could use this as a side weapon. Uh, frag grenade, sure. Frag mine. Glow sighted hair trigger. Pipe pistol. I like never use the pipe weapons at all. They just sound so cheap and nasty. Minigun. Molotov cocktail. It's so funny that this is like worth nothing. A 382. Okay. That's worth something. Molotov pipe auto pistol. Revolver pool cue. Man, Vito. From the Sopranos. The pool cue. Security baton. Uh, that goes up here. Yeah. Short double barrel shotgun. Short pipe bolt action rifle. Revolver rifle. Tire iron. All right. The clothing I do not like in Fallout 4. There's just so much. I don't like how it's like set up where there's like 5,000 pieces of armor you have to go through. Kind of like Oblivion, I guess. But in Oblivion, it just feels different for some weird reason. Uh, Welding goggles. Perception plus one. Not bad. We'll switch to our wife's wedding ring. For some reason, I have a T-45 power armor left arm. Did I accidentally take that from the power armor? I don't even know. Sack hood. I think we're looking for damage resistant, not energy resistant, because there's not that much energy in the beginning of the game, I feel like. So, yes, we're looking for any pluses. So, no. Uh, yes. Wait, what did that switch from? Oh, the Vault 111 jumpsuit. Which has energy resistance and radiation resistance, right? Uh, okay, we do that. Raider right arm, yes. Raider left leg, yes. Raider left arm, yes. Raider leathers, yes. Road leathers, it's better. Metal right arm. I guess that's good. It doesn't have any negatives, right? Sure. Leather right leg. Leather left leg. Leather left arm. Harness. Gas mask with goggles. 
Does that take my perception thing away? It does. So would I prefer the perception plus one or the damage resistance? Probably the perception. Yeah. Okay, gas mask with goggles, flannel shirt and jeans, drifter outfit, chef's hat, which gives you luck plus one? What the hell? Okay, cool. All right. What is up, ma'am? Hey. I can rest easy knowing that Wolfgang is rotten in hell. Thank you. Do you need anything? Uh, yeah, I actually do. I've got a few minutes to browse. A little bit of everything. Yeah, goggles fits our character, I guess. Okay, so I gotta get used to this trading menu as well. Trudy has 280 caps, which is nothing. My weapons. So we sell two of these. Keep that, keep that, sell that, sell that. Sell the minigun. S keep the Molotovs, those are always helpful. Pipe auto pistol, pipe pistol, pipe revolver pistol, three pool cues. Uh, short double barrel shotgun. We have used all of her money. So accept that trade. Then go to her stuff. What does she have? She's got some stuff that's like crazy expensive, I remember. Yeah, General Chow's Revenge. 2,000 caps. Unique melee weapon. Uh, minigun, Molotov. Quick calibrated pipe pistol security. Beton. Short hunting rifle, uh, submachine gun, blah, 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 don't need any of that. Apparel, faded visor, green shirt, combat boots, leather chest piece. Do we not have a chest piece on? Why is this plus, 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 plus? What is our, like, main... Do we not have, like, a main chest piece? I don't even know what that be. Is it road leathers? I guess it's road leathers. So then this would be better. It's only 69 caps? Sure. Buy that. Okay, patch suit, yellow flight helmet. Wow, that gives you a lot of stuff. Wow, that's pretty good. Okay, we'll take that. Aid, beer, carrot gourd, trash, trash, trash. We'll buy stim packs. Misc bobby pins. We have enough of those, I think. Junk. Don't think I need any of that. Yeah, a lot of the stuff I never fully got into, like the shipments. I never really bought a shipment ever. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo, shotgun shell. Okay, cool. So, accept that. Then go back over here. Go to weapons. Okay, we're going to do the 10 millimeter as a side weapon. So then we sell you and you. Tanza, thank you so much for the prime sub. Where do we get this? Gas mask with goggles. Oh yeah, we had that already. Yeah, thank you so much, Tanza, for the 29 months of Twitch Stiffer Prime Thinny. Okay, sell that. Sell all these. Put that on. Sell that, sell that, sell that. Uh, sell that, sell that. Raider, left leg, right arm, road leathers. Okay, that's fine, right? Sack hood, sack hood with straps, T45 left armor. We'll keep this for, you know. Oh, did I sell the freaking, no I didn't, okay, good. Okay, aid. She's got 534 caps. Brahmin meat, sell. Drugs we keep for once. Death claw meat, iguana bits, jet is a drug, melon, mentats, mongrel dog meat, purified water, rad X, should have kept that, rad away, squirrel on a stick, sugar bombs, tato, my misc, burnt trade magazine, trash busters, your special, my junk will store, we'll save the ammo for now, and boom, cool, okay, now we're naked, but that's fine, because we go to apparel and we put this on and then we put this on and we could sell the welding goggles but whatever okay so now we look why do i not have what
What did I sell that doesn't have pants on? I'm so confused. This freaking armor system in Fallout 4, bro. I hate buy. it. It's got like 15 to pieces right to it. You gonna buy? Why am I naked? I'll take a look. Sure. I'll salvage. <laughs> But I look like a moron. What did I sell that was like our pants? I'm so confused. Is there anything that's like a plus? Flannel shirt and jeans? Road leathers were the clothes. Everything else is armor. I literally cackled. What? Road leathers is the... Oh. Why, why did I think... What did I think? Okay, that's so weird. So we have raider leathers or we have road leathers. That's a two. That's a two. Uh, let's just do road leathers, which is a reference. I th that's still a reference to like. No. Except, yes. Still a reference to like. Because the leather armor was a reference to Mel Gibson's character, in the road warrior, which is the first Mad Max, right? So I'm assuming this is still a reference to that. Okay, now we should be fine. Yes? Yeah, that's still a reference to the Mad Max character, I do believe. Okay, inventory managed. Let's go. Let's also save before I die and then have to redo all that. It's very nice because the armor doesn't ever look good. Oh, by the way, yeah, like I said, if I miss any chat, I've been missing so much chat today. Feel free to repost it. I never am annoyed by that. I just I want to get to every line of chat, but like I said, it's... Sucks alt-tabbing out of this game. Any Bethesda game on PC, it sucks alt-tabbing. As you know if you've played them. Even if you have all matching pieces, it still looks ugly. Yeah, I'm not sure what type of clothes we'll go for in this playthrough. What do I use? I think I usually do the Minutemen general outfit. Because it's pretty cool looking. Definitely want to switch that up, though. Something good for a scientist-type character. Not sure what that would be. Freaking Corvega, why do they send you here so early? I feel like this is going to be genuinely tough, but we should be able to do it. Dog meat can wear the goggles? Lexington. I always put hat and goggles because they usually boost your stats by one. You don't have one on. You can wear road leathers and armor. Yeah, I didn't realize that. I, I'm, I, I've never deep dived into the armor system. Because I usually, I if you know me, I always go for just whatever's unique, basically. Oh boy, this is gonna suck. Okay, we gotta level up, nice. <coughs> gotta crank this freaking thing after every shot. Boop. How is that not hitting them? Sir. Okay, you, hold still. It's time for you to die. There go. There's a mod that sort of makes an inventory a lot cleaner and easier to use. If only I use mods. However, I typically do not. Boop. Thank you. How did that miss? This guy is like protected by God. Sir, it's time to stop. Thank you. Your head literally comes off that easy. Did you know that? Okay, I'll take that. Who else is shooting me? Where? There you are. Oh, there's a guy up there too. Why is that missing? I'm literally shooting him. Okay, hold still. Bro, what is happening? I'm putting the cursor on the man and pressing the trigger. Come on. Come on. Oh my god, this is like such a rock and a hard place. Thank you. Okay, I suppose I'll use some stim packs. Disgusting. Boop, boop. Alright, let's go over here. <clears throat> Why am I naked? Just got hit with four ads, damn. Rip. There's a bobblehead here, yep. Bobblehead, I believe, at the top. Which one is it? I forget. Okay, where you at? Bro, what? I don't know what is happening with these guys on the roof, but they are not getting hit. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay, the reticle is just a lot lower down than I think I thought it was. Oh my god, they're shooting me from way up there. What the heck? I don't even know if my weapon will reach that far. 
I mean, they could shoot me, so you would think I could shoot them. Come on, peek out your nasty little raider head. <gasps> Thank you. At least this thing kills him in one hit. Can I hit this guy? Oh my god, what a snipe. And then you too. Hold on. Gosh dang. And... Wait for it. Haha! -ha! Okay, and then where's the last guy? Hello! Cool. Sweet. Well, I think they know that we're here. Corvega assembly plant. Yeah, I don't know why they sent... Is it random that they send you here for freaking Minutemen? I, but I think you always go here if you do the first Minutemen quest. Very weird. It's like you go to the biggest like dungeon in the whole map for the first Minutemen quest. Kind of bizarre. It's very difficult, as I thought it would be. Because you don't even have very many stim packs or ammo or nothing. Alrighty then. Need to go up. Who is in here? Hello? Hello? I'm always confused. I wanna I wanna try like Fallout 4 is definitely a game I don't fully have down like I do for like the other fallouts, I feel like. So I definitely want to try to like get better at the things I'm bad at. Like Corvega, for instance, which I always get confused at. Okay, thank you. Some drugs. Los drogas. Oh, uh, we could take this ladder. Where does this go? Commonwealth. Alright. Where's the bobblehead again? It's at the very top, right? Like, outside at the very top of all the stairs and things. <coughs> the muskets are inaccurate long range, if I recall correctly. Yeah, I think they're hit scan. If you line up the reticle perfectly, they'll die for sure. I also always get lost every time I play it. I have no clue why. It's just like there's 15 elevators and yeah, it's just a confusing, a confusing dungeon in general. Ba -ba, ba -ba, ba -ba. Oh, the infinite loading screen. Oh, the infinite loading screen. How I envy you. Yeah, does anybody remember where the bobblehead is? It's literally at the very top, right? Which I guess we'll go for it. Is it in... I feel like it's endurance, isn't it? Because you have to, like, endure getting up this giant assembly plant. Uh, but yeah, let's talk about uh, what's going on in the story thus far for anybody lost. Or for anybody that doesn't know anything about the Fallout world in general. Uh, basically, yeah. they're in, uh, It's, it's kind of weird. It's like a alternate history sort of universe where basically like we dropped the bombs. We dropped the bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki as seen in the Oppenheimer film, which was phenomenal. If you haven't seen it, I don't even like nonfiction and I loved it typically. I don't like historic, like, films or biopics. 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 I'm not usually a big fan. I mean, I, I'm a fan of anything, like, good. If it's a good film, I will, I'll watch it. But typically, I'm not a huge fan of nonfiction type historical films. But anyways, Oppenheimer is amazing. But, yeah, in this world, we dropped the bombs during World War II on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. And then, what happens? Like, they... I guess they do further research into, like, nuclear technology instead of microchips, right? And, like, that type of technology. And, uh, basically, like, it goes down a different path in history where there's a hyper-focus on Americana, American values. You know, that's why, even though it's the year 2077, everything still looks and feels like it's the 50s. Because they, like, go more towards that. And also more towards, like, nuclear technology instead of, uh, electronic technology, I guess, right? There it is. Oh, it's repair. Nasty. Why go down with a ship when you can try to fix it? Fusion cores permanently last 10% longer. Literally useless, because we're not going to be using power armor. Eh, maybe not. I don't know. I, I just don't like... I don't like any, like, as most people, I don't like timers in games. 
takes away from the immersion and takes away from like you just enjoying the video game. So it's like you're in power armor and you're constantly being timed. I mean, granted, you know, you get a lot of fusion cores and they last pretty long, but still it's like you're always being timed. It's like, ugh, I don't want that. Not my thing. Plus, I typically don't like playing big, giant, hulking, heavy armor type stuff in games anyways. I like being agile. Uh, but, uh, yeah. So then, um, then, I don't even know what leads up. If anybody's a lore expert in the chat, feel free to, you know, drop some lore in the chat. But, um, basically, I guess things continue to it's weird because the beginning of this game they kind of like talk about oh then the american dream was achieved and everybody was great and everything after the bombs fell oh but they say like oil shortages right i guess that's what leads to the all-out war it's like oil resource shortages so i guess that happens and then basically all-out war happens mutually assured what's it called mads Mutually assured, uh, dang it. Oh god. Oh god. Oh. Mutually assured devastation? What, is it, what does it stand for? Kato. I'm trying to remember what that, what that, um, not anagram, acronym. Yeah, there's like an acronym, which, you know, in today's day and age, at the time of this uh, video, at the time of this stream, recording, whatever, you know, it's, it's a scary time, and like, I've done a little bit of research, and like, yeah, everyone's like, oh, you're gonna be, everyone's gonna be fine, because there's M-A-D-S, which is like, Mutually Assured Destruction, that's what it is. Because it matters, it mads, I'm not sure. Anyways, point being is like, if nukes were to ever go off, the whole world is going to be destroyed. Because, you know, whoever launches the nukes, everybody everybody else is going to launch the nukes. And yeah, it's basically everybody loses, so nobody wants that. Which is what some people say is going to prevent that from happening. Me, myself, I'm not so sure, because it's just like, I don't know. If you have a particularly, like, unstable leader, wouldn't they just be like, I don't care. Do it anyways, whatever. I don't know. Anyways, point is... That happens in the Fallout universe. Uh, basically, mutually assured destruction goes on. The whole world is destroyed. I think, right? The whole world? The whole world's destroyed, basically. As far as we know. I, I don't know if they've ever really explored, like, are there any places that weren't destroyed? I don't know. Anyways, uh, the main aggressors were like China versus U.S., right? Which is why China invaded uh, Anchorage, Alaska, which you see in the Operation Anchorage DLC in Fallout 3. You know, that leads to, like, China invading the U.S., and then, you know, war escalation keeps happening until basically everything's destroyed. And that obviously sets off the whole wasteland, or that's, that's what creates the wasteland, which Fallout is so known for. Uh, but in this particular game, you actually start it before the bombs fall, which is kind of cool, as we also see at the start of the Fallout show. Because they didn't do that before pre-war stuff, which is pretty neat. Um, oh, we're here now. What the heck? It was like 15 entrances to this place. And then, uh, oh my god. He's trying to grab that freaking pumpkin. Okay, let's level up. ba 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 da ba 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 bo ba ba ba. Any chems you take last fifty percent longer. Far out. Let's do that. Let me gotta start using some chems. Okay. I also need some stim packs. Stat and inventory and aid stim pack. Boop boop boop. Uh, my arm. My arm. Boop. I'm not hiding. What the hell? Where'd you, where the heck did you come from? Ba -ba -ba. Uh, so anyways, yeah, the bombs drop, the wasteland's created. Uh, this game takes place before the bombs drop, but you go to a vault, which is by Vault Tech. 
which obviously they wanted to capitalize on the fear and paranoia of, you know, the war, the burgeoning all-out war that was clearly going to happen with events leading up to the Great War. I think it's called the Great War, right? Um, and I guess it's not paranoia or whatever because it actually happens. The Great War happens and everybody dies, obviously. Um, and yeah, basically vault Tech existed to put people in vaults to, like, let them live. But in reality, vault Tech was actually pretty sinister and wanted to conduct experiments within their vaults, which is, you know, great for a fictional universe. I mean, that's a really good idea, in my opinion. Um... So, for instance, you know, we see, like, the experiment for our, our vault in this game is they cryogenically freeze people. I forget if there was anything further than that, like, if they wanted to... Dude, I hate Corvega, man. It's, like, so confusing navigating this place. Uh, I forget if, they was, if there was any more to the story in our vault than they just wanted to, like, cryogenically freeze us. I think there was. I think there was, like, something else going on, if I remember correctly. How did that miss? What the hell? The Sassel's using stealth, bro. I'm not using stealth at all. Mm -hmm. How do I go up? I need to go up, not down. Oh man, I don't have any ammo for this gun anymore. Okay, I think there's a boss in here, if I remember right. Oh yeah, turrets. What? How did it miss? Is this turret still alive? Okay, we gotta kill the boss. Uh, so yeah. Anyways, you go into a vault, um, in order to... Jesus. Save you and your... Okay. Don't even know how that happened, but all right. I think we're standing next to some explosive canisters that got exploded. Is that going to reload this entire inside area? Oh my god. It okay. Freaking Corvega, man. Every single time. Corvega is just such an intense dungeon. One, two, three. All right, let's go through this fast. I don't want to do this all again. Uh, but yeah, anyways, uh, so we go into the vaults, and then, uh, yeah, they're cryogenically freezing us and our family, which we don't know. I think we're basically just tricked completely to be frozen. What is happening? And then, um... Yeah, turns out that we were frozen for 200 years, which we did not realize. And uh, during that 200 years, our wife is shot and killed because they want our son, Sean, who is in the arms of our wife. So we're basically looking for our son. We don't know why. What the hell? We don't know why they stole our son or what they're doing with our son or why they killed our wife. But we need to figure all that out, obviously. And, uh... Alarm clocks, yes. Yeah, that's basically the story thus far. Pretty much. <clears throat> ba, 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 ba. Pretty sure it's at the very top. The, uh, bobblehead. Bobel. Oh my god, this dungeon. Bro. One, two. cover fire over here! Okay, let's go up this way. Just gotta kill the boss and watch out for all those explosive canisters. It's R. I never liked power armor in the game. I don't know why, really. LOL. Uh, in the other games, you just have it on, and it's just, you know, it's just there. Okay, we can do this. In the other games, you just have power armor on. Right? Seeds to S E E. D S S E E D S could be this. Got it. Yep. 
Protectron. Ooh. Activate units. Please advise any personnel standing near charge pod to make way. Choose personality mode. What does this do? Default subway steward. Law enforcement, fire brigadier, medical responder, construction worker. I think you want to choose law enforcement, right? Because then they go after the uh, the raiders, I do believe. Uh, but yeah, in the previous games, like, power armor is just on you. And then, you know, I think you get a negative to agility, which may or may not affect how fast you move. I think it does. But it's not as big of a deal. In this game, power armor is a whole mechanic. Which is kind of crazy. It's just like, it's just too big and hulking for my taste. Ironically, as I play a paladin in our D&D campaign. Are you attacking me? What the hell, bro? Your head has been crippled. Restore your vision by healing yourself with a stim. Okay, this is not good. Freaking Corvega. One, two. Some of these shots missing, and it's like, what is even happening? Thank you. Yeah, I was going to say, I feel like that protect rod is going to attack me as well, which is not cool. Okay, those right there exploded and killed me last time. Okay, we got seven shots left. Oh my god. Oh god. Ooh. Okay, please land this. Nice. One shot left for the big boss, Jared. Nice. Okay, then we gotta go to... This, and favorite that, and put that here. And use that. Did not want to use all of my stim packs, but what are you gonna do? Okay, there's still a turret live in here somewhere. Oh god. Oh! Cars are like the worst thing in the Fallout universe. Cars ex cars cars of the Fallout world literally have a nuclear reactor. And they go insane. They blow up like yeah, like that basically. Okay, I need these to like blow up. These things blow up, don't they? I feel like I'm gonna walk over there and they're just gonna explode and make me do this all over again. Okay, press the button. Hoo! Okay, Jared. Boop, 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 boop. We'll take all of this stuff. He might have some good stuff. Take the telephone. Gotta use the mattress. There's like four more people below us somewhere. There's also like a bunch of stuff in here, I remember. Also, we want these enamel buckets, right? For like enamel or something. Okay, desk fans we always take. There's a magazine here. Grognak. You've collected an issue of Grognak the Barbarian. Critical hits with unarmed and melee attacks permanently do 5% damage. Steamer trunk, which are basically this game's chests. And then Jared's terminal, which goes over like the fighting uh, raider factions or something. Setting up shop. Stumped. Subjects. Experiments continue. She's here. Spotlight control. Deactivate lights. System diagnostics. What does that even do? Okay. Cool. We can use that. Yeah, again, I don't know why they send you to Corvega, man. Corvega is just insane. There's so many raiders. Just feels way too difficult of like an early area thing for them to send you to. Don't really know why, because like I didn't want to use all my stim packs from the get-go, but we made it out. All right, let's get the heck out of here. Oh boy. Uh, <coughs> couldn't agree more. I hate timers. Always gives me anxiety to have to speed up and get something done. Always like taking my time. Yep. I don't know. Yeah, timers are just like something that very rarely, like timed quests, for instance. Like, I don't even know why that's a thing. Uh, oh, by the way, CRPLS, if you're in the chat. Oh, no. 
or if you see this. Uh, I wanted to mention, uh, I saw that you did kitty treats yesterday, uh, but I didn't see it until the end of the, pl uh, the end of the stream. So I did not ignore the kitty treats. I just like, you know, getting back into the swing of things streaming. I just completely forgot about the redemption stuff. So sorry that I missed the kitty treats, basically. Uh, but yeah, timers in games are very, like, you have to be very, very, very careful with how you use those. Um, like, for instance, the dead... What is that game called? The, um... Dead Rising? What is it called? Dead Rising, right? Where you're in the mall, and you're like, you have all the different... It's made by Capcom. You're a photographer, Frank something, and you have to, like, kill all the zombies with different tools and stuff. Whatever that series is. I never played it. Uh, people love it, but like I was always turned off by the fact that you have like a set time to complete things But then again, I, I I love games certain games that have timers too. Majora's Mask obviously and um, Pikmin both have timers, but I love those games to death. So just kind of depends Yup. Yeah, I took care of them. No kidding. That's the best piece of news We've had around here for a good long time. So we've been talking. We decided if you came through for us We'd join up with the Minutemen again if we want things to get better, we've got to start helping each other. So, we're in. You can count on us if you need help down the line. Thanks again, friend. Yep. No prob. I mean, it was a problem. It was very difficult, actually, to complete, but, you know. Did my best. Alright, back to gravy. Definitely not familiar with Fallout lore, but the intro for Fallout 4 said that after the bombs are dropped, everyone turned towards using nuclear technology to develop a more prosperous world. Weirdly, they have fusion-powered cars, even though in real life we haven't yet figured out how to harness nuclear fusion for power. We have to rely on nucle nuclear fission, which I think generates a lot less power than nuclear fusion theoretically would. Yeah, I am by no means a scientist, so obviously I am not somebody that understands a lot of the... Um, I'm not somebody that, it's, that understands a lot of the minutiae when it comes to like nuclear technology and versus other types of technology or whatever advanced. I never really got that when it comes to the fallout lore, but it's weird because like, so science advanced further in certain respects, but then you have to have like these crazy things like, yeah, nuclear powered cars that explode with like a nuclear, nuclear bomb. And then also like pit boys, which are gigantic, like handheld computer, like where it feels like we're more advanced in 2024 than the fallout universe is in 2077 yet nuclear power is more advanced i don't know does my head in if anybody can explain that in a youtube comment or something feel free because i'm not i never really understood that they're like more advanced in the fallout world but yet they're less advanced i don't know what's up you know that settlement you sent me to help they've decided to join the Minutemen. that's great news i knew you were the right person for the job by the way you should have one of these flare guns you can use it to signal for help from any nearby minute not much use yet but once we have more allied settlements, you'll have help whenever you need it. I guess you know I'm one of the last of the Minutemen. But I never really told you what happened to us. I figured you'd tell me when you were ready. Have you heard of the Quincy Massacre? I don't think so. I thought everyone in the Commonwealth knew about that by now. Where the Minutemen betrayed each other and the people they were supposed to protect. I was with Colonel Hollis's group. A mercenary group called the Gunners was attacking Quincy. The people there called for the Minutemen to help. We were the only ones that came. The other groups, they just turned their backs on us and the folks in Quincy. Only a few of us got out alive. Colonel Hollis was dead, so I ended up in charge of the survivors. We never found a safe place to settle. One disaster after another. You saw how it ended and conquered. As long as you don't give up, the Minutemen will survive. I'm not about to give up, but I can't protect the Commonwealth all by myself. Hell, I could barely protect these people. That's why I'm talking to you. I can't rebuild the Minutemen, but I think you can. I don't know what makes you think that. You saved us and conquered. There wasn't anything in it for you. You had your own problems to deal with, but you did it anyway. That kind of selflessness has been in mighty short supply around here for quite a while. We need someone who can bring the whole Commonwealth together in a common cause. And I think you've got it in you to be that leader. 
Okay. I'll do it. Good. Good. Welcome aboard. I feel like this is a whole new star for the Miniman. And the Commonwealth, too. Don't worry. I'll be right beside you all the way. General. Yeah, way too fast to be promoted to general. Like, after one quest? I mean, I guess we, like, save them from the town hall or whatever. It just feels, like, way too fast. He's like, you're the leader now. Like, in other Bethesda games, you have to, like, work to become the leader of the guilds or whatever factions. That's quite a promotion you just gave me. The leader of the Miniman has always held the rank of general. Our last leader was General Becker. After he died back in 82, nobody could agree on who should take his place. The one good thing about being the last minute man is, there's no one to argue with me when I say you're the new general. Now it's your job to make it more than an empty title. I've got something a bit different for you. Our scouts have found a promising spot for a new settlement. The trouble is that some kind of vicious beasts are lairing there. Once you clear it out, set up a radio beacon to let settlers know about it. Before you know it, we'll have a thriving new farm instead of wasteland. We'll take back the Commonwealth, one piece at a time. Cool. Uh, I guess we'll get Preston Gravy as our follower, since we are doing a follower playthrough, I suppose. Is there something you need? Uh, follow me. Come with me. I need your help. Sure thing, General. I think the folks here can manage on their own now. Thanks to you. Don't worry, dog meat. I'll take good care of him. Wait, he calls him dog meat? Or is this name dog? Is he, is he? Oh, dog meat has to be. Oh, this is not like where you can have a dog and also a normal dude. Uh, let's cancel. Dog is going to Red Rocket Truck Stop. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. I'd rather have dog meat than Preston Gravy. I thought you could have a dog and a normal humanoid follower i suppose not yo come here come here my ap bar is too low <sighs> oh he's like following a command okay where are you at all right stop at any point oh there's like a first aid box here i didn't know that hey boy Okay, let's go. Come on, boy. It's time to go. Uh, send Preston Gravy. It'd be funny just to keep him at Red Rocket for some reason. Uh, Sanctuary Hills. Yes. All right, cool. And that is where we will end for today, ladies and gentlemen. Um, yeah, like I said, I want to see all the new content. I definitely want to, like, etch out, eke out a bit of a, you know, level up a little bit before we take on the new content because i have no idea if it's going to be like super hard or anything at least the enclave stuff so for this playthrough we will at least see all the new content added with the next gen update uh, after that we'll just see uh, if i feel like doing more we will if i feel like switching it up to a different game we'll switch it up to a different game uh, and if you're watching on twitch this will be uploaded to youtube probably tomorrow around 2 p.m mountain time uh, if you're watching on YouTube, I hope you enjoy. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.